<laughs> Hello? <laughs> I opened the game and I was like, wait, there's no game sound muted. Hang on. <laughs> Hello? Hello, chatty gods. <laughs> I got caught. I got caught opening the game. <laughs> Lips it check. I forget every time. Hello. I see everybody's busy. We wah wooing. <laughs> I was I was in mod chat. I was like, mods, help. Which one's the we wah woo song? And Noxy saved the day. Noxy linked it, and I was like, thank you. <laughs> yes, we got some wee wah woo. Yes. That is really entertaining. I was like finishing off getting ready today. And uh, it was, I just love it. I just love you lot popping off. You pop off most of the time. But when you especially pop off, it makes me uh, really smile. <laughs> oh, how is everybody doing today? How is everybody? Are we good? Are we wee wah wooing to our heart's content? This is a 10 minute version. All right, we're locked in. I can actually listen to it this time. I uh, I put Heaven's Ward music on today and I unmuted it for myself for the first time. Yammer's doing good. Hello, Rocky Ham. So who do we have? We have Delshov, Garcy Corman, Maximal Disguise, Boogadank, Urezim, Kelsia, Elansia, Yamis, Gladius, Kyron, Jesse, Darius, Sigrin. Hello, Tiny Jazz Hands, NT Mata, Nox Noxie. Maximal Disguise, hello! Tonberry, got any seeds for chat? You cannot have my seed. <laughs> I have some coconut water. What about coconut seed? <laughs> I woke up right on time for my two hour nap. Hello, Shayla, how are we feeling? No? Oh, okay. No coconut seeds. All right. We can't feed, we can't feed the bird, the burbs in chat. I, I watched a video today of Soda Poppin who got some birds. I watched like a 10 minute video about him and he, he was showing he was showing his birds on stream. It was so cute. I now want a bird. I want a bird. I, I love the TikToks of birds and I'm like, I want a bird now. <laughs> so hello, potato chips. How are you doing? Hello, Cecile. Cute, cute. Darby's here. Hello, Darby. Amethyst, Mariel, hello. Lamentius, hello. Jazzle, hello. Red Rust Riot, hello. Pajama Graham, we got our jammies ready. Oh my gosh, Pajama Graham, that is so adorable. Eveonia, hello. Billo, hello. Chelly Chelly, hello Chelly Chelly, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, it's so nice to see all your names. So how, 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 how uh, what day is it? Thursday. I know what day it is for once. Nearly the weekend. How's everyone's week been? Are we all, are we all, well, we're all the right way up, so that's the start. That's a good start. I've had an hour's sleep today, so that's fun. No, Darby, running on empty today. Okay, well, maybe we can bring you some comfort and some smiles while you're low on energy. Um, I'm sorry that you can't sleep, or there's reasons. Reasons? Could be many different reasons, you know. Sometimes we have bouts of insomnia, sometimes we can't sleep, or sometimes we just have stuff to do, or just be like that sometimes. Look, see, it's feeling ugly. <laughs> Okay, this needs to stop. I actually hate myself when I do this voice. So, you know, I hate myself. Everyone else is going to hate me as well. I'm still a little bit sad, but mostly angry and irritated. Oh, okay, Shayla. Well, at least you're a little bit less sad. So maybe we can cheer you up a bit while you're not feeling quite yourself. Sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, no, classic all that. I, I really hate myself every time I do that voice. So, you know, refrain, refrain. Have you got some coffee? I got. I, I did have a coffee today. I, I was really, I really acted very spoiled today. I ordered myself a coffee because I couldn't go outside. I haven't been able to go outside. So I ordered myself a coffee. But I was running on empty, all right? I needed a treat. I needed a treat. So I ordered myself a coffee today. I know. It's so like, what's this, Angie? Oh my goodness, Briseya. And why are we angry? I even played for you, Wee Wah Woo. The chatty ones are never happy. I found Wee Wah Woo and we're still angry. Although you are very cute. Even though you're angry, even though you're angry, you're very cute. So it's good. Very cute chatting ones. You might be angry, but you're adorable. Yeah, you're adorable. I just made this one, wait. Prisea, you made this? Prisea, 
do I have your permission to put these emotes like in my stream as like emotes? I it would be I, it would be an honour. Can I put them like in my stream as actual emotes? You'd have to send them to me. Or we could do it after the stream. We could do it after the stream. Because there are those of us who don't have seven TV, so I feel like having some emotes would be really good for them to use as well. Have you tried the frappes from Costa? I've actually never had a, a frappe. No, I've actually never had a frappe. Although, I don't know, there's like a there's a coffee chain called Black Sheep Coffee that I'm kinda into at the moment. Right, let's unmute the game sounds now that we wow woo. Now that we're free from we wow woo. There we go. Let's get. Oh, classic, classic black screen. Fr no, I nearly did it, Kelsey. Oh, you nearly got me. I nearly did it. I missed this whole this week's streams. <gasps> Cover Cameron. Oh no. Okay. Well, what did you miss this week? Um, we actually got quite a little bit into Stormblood now. We uh we liberated Zoma. Oops. Uh, I also watched no clip, but I'm gonna upload that to YouTube if anyone wants to like watch through that. Prisea, Prisea has some crew. Close. 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 Hello, butcher. Blavian. Wah! 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 What was that scary emote? Cute, cute. Thank you so much for the chucky. Chuck. See, I'm refraining today. D I, I nearly did. I nearly got myself. Did you see? Did you? Did you hear that, Ghastly Gorman? I nearly. I nearly did it. I nearly did. It's. It's actually. It's actually just getting too much now, isn't it? Isn't it cute? Cute. It's just getting too much. <gasps> Gate in one minute. Gate in one minute. So I have a couple of things that I like to farm. Come, cute, cute. Gate in one minute. Ding dog. Ding dog. Gate. Who wants to do a gate? It's gonna be Leap of Faith, isn't it? Because the gates are only leap of faith. It's just the rules of the golden saucer. All right. Uh, it's lying. It's still leap of faith. It's leap of faith. It's lying. It's lying to you. <laughs> um, why? Why now? The one time you're not leap of faith and you make me look bad. Hello, Neentog. How are you doing? Okay, let's do anyway. The wind blows. We'll pick a spot. <gasps> So some somebody told me some uh, somebody told me some secret to uh, any way the wind blows and it never win it never works. Hello, Sailor. Wait, Sailor, you're dressed as like a, a clown. Wait, you look so good. What is a clown costume? Oh my god, it looks so good. Wait, I love the the jacket. Hang on a minute. Clappers. <gasps> Mizu. Hello, Mizu. No, we're not saying that. Tiny jazz hands. Uh. -uh. Yeah, gosh, it's actually getting too much, isn't it? That just perfectly describes the stream, just a little bit too much. Oh my gosh, Shayla, I love the clown costume. It looks great. Clown clappers. Oh, Broctis! Broctis is upside down already. And you're also licking the clown costume. So some, some, uh, some casual celebrity told me about a spot, which it looks like everyone else knows about as well. So, guess. Some some celebrity in the Final Fantasy WoW universe that I was casting with, some some big deal, told me about some kind of position that's like statistically least likely to get knocked off. Try and take a guess who told me this. It's the highest chance, but it's not always gonna work, yeah. So it seems like everybody knows this spot. Yeah, surely, surely it'll work. <gasps> oh my goodness, the chatting ones. Look, we've got our favourite character. It's the chat. It's the chatting one's favourite character. We're going off on the second one. Right, that's it. Place your bets. Where are we going off? Mizu is guessing second. Place your bets. Place your bets. Any firsters? I think I'm going to win. No! No! Jimmy, no! Oh, no! Okay, we lasted one round. Now let's see if we've been doomed. Mizu, have you doomed us? Ooh. 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 Ah. Oh, I'm starting a four hour drive for work. <gasps> Dasha Pepper, that is quite a drive. Four hours, is it like a, a work trip or? No! Rigged, 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 stupid game, rigged. Alex, Alex told me about that spot. Alex is the liar. 
Alex came by my screen and was like, hey, you want to know the tech? And I was like, go on then, tell me the tech, Alex. And he was like, yeah, stand here. You know, la, la, la. Lies! Lies! Rigged! Rigged! <laughs> Kuno, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Alex! Alex! That's it. I'm sending an Angie DM. <gasps> Hello, Azuka. I'm sending an Angie DM. I'm not sure if you're aware, but you can now unlock a quest line that starts rebuilding Doma Castle. So you guys, if you have any suggestions, the modding ones are probably the best ones to talk about that because they, the modding ones, which we can lick the mods because the mods are carrying, but the mods have a roadmap. Um, but if it's a side quest of rebuilding Doma Castle, I absolutely do want to do that, Racker. Like, I, I actually really do want to do that. So, can we do... When would, when would be the best time to fit that into the roadmap? We can lick the mods. Exactly. Cover them in dribble, especially as Moltcore just got here. Uh, it's a weekly quest line. No? Haha, <laughs> licking the mods. It's mostly a weekly thing. It's like 10 minutes every week. It's capped weekly, so you kind of do it in the time slot you do the saucer. Oh, okay. Raka, I've, well, thank you so much for bringing that up. Sorry, I just thought it was a whole quest line, so I was like, I don't want to interfere with the mods, like, roadmap. So if you have a suggestion, like, it's better for the mods to, like, to kind of put it into the roadmap somewhere. Sorry, I was lacking critical information. Oh, okay, so maybe we can, maybe we can, uh... Uh... What is this? Oh, triple triad, duh. Oh, I'm gonna lose, I'm not very good at this. Hello, dear Zano. Wait, I don't have these cards. Oh, it's cute, cute cards. All oh, right, okay. Time to do 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 do. I've watched so many Yu-Gi-Oh videos recently. Like, I, I am such a fangirl. I like obsessive fangirl, I swear to God. I've been watching so much of Yu-Gi-Oh just because I love the Pharaoh. It like, ever, okay, look, all right? It's just the way it goes, right? In your astrology chart, sometimes planet simp just aligns, okay? Like once a month, planet simp is in orbit and you just become an obsessive fangirl, all right? It's just the way it works. So at the moment, planet simp is in alignment. So I'm simping over the Pharaoh, all right? Oh, is it my turn? Oh, um. Sorry, I didn't realize it was my turn. I got distracted by simping. Look, we can all relate. We can all relate. Sometimes the simp is just too strong, okay? Dang it. Uh, I'm not very good at triple triad. I haven't played much of it, but I don't mean to brag, but I beat the tutorial actually, yeah. Get on my level. I lost to the tutorial the first time, but I did beat the tutorial after a couple of tries, so yeah. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> Why did I accept this? Why am I like this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I've been uh, I've been watching a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh videos recently, and I, I I really like voice acting, so I was watching a like behind the scenes voice acting type of thing as well. Hey, well done, QQ. Well played. Okay, let's do scratch cards. I'm dying. I'm dying to do scratch cards. I haven't done scratch cards in ages. Right, let's see if the stream of privilege is strong. I just checked. You can't start the quest before somewhere in the middle of 4.2 anyway. Oh, what for the rebuilding of Doma Castle? Uh, excuse me. Where is my 789? Where is my 123? This is not a rigged ticket. Yoshi! <laughs> fixed it. But why are we one guying? No, stop, because I always actually get caught out. No. I feel like a lot of the time, a lot of the time, right? What happens to me with the with the like one guy thing? Like what happened yesterday, you know, with the sound volumes? We had like a moment yesterday with the sound volumes. The thing is, is that what people don't realize is that I actually don't talk about something unless I see multiple comments of the same type of thing. So it's not like 
one comment. It's like, I'll read something and I'll, I'll leave it. And then like other people start saying the same thing or people start replying and then like everybody starts talking about it. And it, it like, if it was just one comment that, that nobody talked, talk, like that it was just one comment, it's like really easy to miss. <gasps> 789? No! Oh, fine. But yesterday there was a sound volume issue and it wasn't, I didn't actually comment on the sound volumes until I saw like multiple of the same message and then other people started replying to that message saying, yeah, the voice acting could be a bit louder. So it's like, I didn't actually get one guide. It was only until it turned into a discussion and it had been brought up like at least five times that I was like, right, okay, do I actually need to fix something, you know? So you can keep your one guy and you can go have a meeting about the one guy. Please talk louder, I can't hear you. Cookie, nobody says that. Wait, Cookie, 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 Cookie. Have you seen, have you seen your legendary, hang on a minute. Look, Cookie, look. Do you see what's legendary in the stream now? Yes, I got one guide by the one guy emote. Yes, so all of you having a meeting, okay? You having your secret meeting where the streamer isn't allowed, the chatting ones get their own meeting, all right? But I'm not invited to. That's what you discussed in your meeting and you got me with the emote. So good job, well played. You got me, you one guide me with the one guy emote. <laughs> oh, Cookie, yeah, so Cookie, I'm pretty sure it was you, Cookie, wasn't it? It was you who wrote this. All right, oh, no. I can't believe you're having another meeting without me. This needs to stop. These chatting meetings, I remember I loaned rights to my message from one year. Return from one million gil. I'm here for the payment. Oh no, I'm in debt. I'm in debt. I'm in trouble. Oh no. I am the milk. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that tickled me. I feel like such a child. Cookie, can we work out an agreement? I feel like 10 million gills is just not enough. I don't know. I just read it. No, don't ha huh me. Okay, ha huh yourselves. In your secret meeting, in your chatting ones meeting, go ha huh yourselves. There you go. What? Why are we bonking the mods? Okay, no, you know what? Bonk the mods. That's, I agree. Cover them in dribble and bonk them. No, why are we bonking the streamer? Why am I being bonked? Right, that's it. You're all acting up. You're all acting up today. Right, that's it. Chatting ones are going to jail. We're putting you in jail. We're putting you on the naughty step. That's what we're doing. You're all acting up already and it's been 20 minutes. Well, excuse me for trying to give you the cookies from the meetings. <gasps> Darby, Darby. If the chatting ones find out that you're distributing the distributed cookies, there's some like cookie distributionception happening. Just bunk him in Jeet's stream. Okay, done, noted. Hello, Holly, how are you doing? To be fair, it's 8.30 a.m. where I am. <gasps> okay, well, good morning. Good morning, any chatting ones. Well, your day is just starting. I'm sorry to start off the stream with uh, setting your day up for annoyance and irritation. <laughs> no cookies, only nuggies. Yeah, you lot were passing round cookies the other day in your secret meeting. Wait, did we get a sound alert? I didn't even hear it. Did it go off? We had a bonk. I didn't hear it. Let me turn up my sounds. I did not hear that. Oh dear. Why did I not hear that? Oh no. We've accidentally scammed. Scammer. 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 <laughs> I, got, I, I scammed you guys by accident. Um, right. So we do need to speak to Tataru. So we're going to pray to return. Then a prage return now that we did our rig tickets. Wait, I think we need to do the lottery as well. Did I do the lottery this week? Oh, it's too late now. Boom. Boom. Okay, we're playing the drums. La, 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 wee, wa, woo. We can put wee, wa, woo in every. Wee, wa, woo. Wee, wa, woo. We can put wee, wa, woo in everything. We can add it to everything. Done. Yeah, this is the wide vibe. Wee wah woo. Wee wah woo. <laughs> oh no, I guess we need 
to start the stream by speaking to Tataru. Oh no. <laughs> Wee Wa Woo is all encompassing. Wee Wa Woo is eternal. At least when my presentation is done on the 13th and I pass, I will have summer vacation. Still stressed though. Tosberg, hello. How are you doing today? What's your presentation about? Although if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Uh, I don't mean to be like, I don't mean to pry if you don't want to talk about it, but uh, I, I wish you all the best of luck for it. I'm sure you don't need the luck. You will pass. Time to be reprimanded for overspending by Tataru. Look, Tataru, I don't care that I spent all of my jills on PJs, all right? It was worth it, okay? It was worth it. Look how cute they are. Hello, Miu. Hello. How is the wolf doggo so cute? I know. Isn't the wolf so cute? So cute. Uh, Rootski, excuse me. All of you lot are conveniently positioning yourselves, right? You're apparently just sitting around the fire, but you're conveniently sitting around the fire in this emote, aren't you? Uh, hey, mage, are you using any shaders? Um, okay, I don't know what shaders are. I'm sorry. This Everything is default. So I don't think so. Uh, the Chocobo PJs are cuter. Like, wait, are they? I haven't seen any of the other PJs. I actually haven't seen any of the other PJs. Uh, I think, okay, I think I only have, I think I only have the Chocobo bottom jammies bottoms. Uh, I don't think I have the set. I think I only have the bottoms. Uh, she is vanilla. She doesn't know yet. I don't know. Oh, am I lacking critical information? Uh, they're in the MB if you want to peek. Oh, God. What's the MB? Uh, there are matching slippers for the new PJs as well. Hey, Jordan, look over there. But... Okay. All right. You know what? You are all misbehaving today. You all woke up and chose chaos. That's what I think. You're all you're all misbehaving so much today already. We're not even an hour in. We're not even an hour in, and you're all misbehaving. What's this? But bonk this. Misbehave this. <laughs> you're all misbehaving. <laughs> Uh, your chat is so nice compared to what we do to Daisy. Wait, what do you do to Daisy? You leave Daisy alone, Nico, all right? Daisy is a protected person. I was gonna say species then, but that just sounded really weird. Daisy is protected. You be nice to Daisy. I need the other shenanigans to calm down for my anxiety earlier. I need the shenanigans. Oh, Tosberg, have you been having a, a bit of a rough day? I'm really sorry, Tosberg. But I hope that maybe we can cheer you up. Yeah, well, I mean, look. Chat's already popping off, all right? We have misbehaving chatting ones today. So, you know, misbehave to your heart's content. Uh, Daisy is great, but her chat is excessive. Why? I'm lacking critical information. The problem is, I actually can't go in Daisy's stream because she's so ahead of me. I think she's been doing a lot of... Um, like, her stream is spoilers for me, so... That's why I'm sad. Wait, what is this? Nice, Daisy. <laughs> What's, what, what do you guys do to Daisy in her stream chat? And I'm not saying this channel needs a nice Daisy emote, but... Okay. Uh, I managed, it's no problem. I was able to go through it and I got some solid progress before ending my work for the day. Gotten better at dealing with the attack, so it's all good. Oh, Tosberg, I'm so sorry to hear like a little bit that you suffer like this. I'm glad that you're on top of it though, because I feel like that's the hardest journey with these things, kind of like experiencing it and then also trying to like comfortably experience it, if that makes sense. You know, like learning what, what you can and can't do and how to deal with it best and what can bring it on. And, you know, I'm sorry, but it seems like you got on, you're kind of semi on top of it. So that at least, at least that's good. But yeah, Tosberg. Okay, can we all just give Tosberg a big huggers? Tosberg's gonna be like, unhand me, unhand me. All right, or we can just smack the butt at Tosberg. That's fine. I've never been better, so it's okay. Oh, Tosberg, that actually makes my heart feel so full. Tosberg. You've been, you've never been better. That's so nice. I'm really glad. I'm really glad to hear that. Cause you know, sometimes, you know, like 
randomly rubbish things will happen, but you just got to keep your head up, right? Uh, I had to like delete and restart my presentation concept twice today, but like I said, I've got an idea of what to do tomorrow. Oh, Tosberg. I'm so happy and proud of you. I'm really glad to hear that. I'm Wait, did that sound patronizing? I hope not. But I really am. I'm really happy for you. Why do I want to cry already? We're like, I haven't even done the MSQ yet. Okay, Ritalin prescribed. Okay, good. Oh, Raldor, that's a very cute hug. No cry. Okay, no cry. No cry. We can do this. No, no crying. So what do you lot do to Daisy in her stream? Why is her chat excessive? What are you doing? Are we bullying Daisy? How dare you? Daisy is the most pure, innocent, sweetest, kindest person ever. They bully her. How dare you? We're not bullying Daisy in this stream. <laughs> yes, cry. <laughs> Good. Yeah, she's pure. She's innocent. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's very pure and innocent. You can't convince me otherwise. Daisy just loves green Grindwatt, but she won't admit it. Is Grindwatt the, 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 the one? To be fair, right, Grindwatt was an irritant until we did the dungeon and his voice lines die, die, die. Like, that actually still haunts me. That's like, isn't that a testament to how good the... I repeat the same phrases a lot. Like, isn't that a testament to how good the voice acting is? And I, and I feel very annoying saying the same things, but I, I do continue to appreciate it. Like that die, die, die voice line in the middle of the boss fight was just freaking epic. And it still haunts me and I still think about it. Good morning from the States. Morbius Maximus, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hello, Chris. Hello, hello, Chris. Chris, have you seen? We got fit, hang on, hang on, I can do this. Uh, at Chris, no, Chunky Ninja. At Chunky Ninja, fix this. Now. Am I allowed in the chatting ones meeting now? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! Who let the toddler play with the emotes? No! <laughs> Why am I not allowed in the meeting? Uh, don't worry, we're all mature adults here. Well, look, some of us need to be, because I'm not. Apparently, my Discord role name now is the day... Wait, what's my Discord role name? Daycare director. Apparently I'm in charge, so everyone's screwed, honestly. No! Wait, you can separate the meeting. Peasants not welcome, Jack! Excuse me. None of the mods are either, so we're in trouble. We all are in trouble. Miss Streamer or chat, can you tell me if this game is enjoyable without the expansions? I want to get into it, but I don't want to wail straight away. So, Ollie without memeing but there is a free trial that actually goes through the first couple of expansions so you get the base expansion which is a realm reborn and then you can also play heaven's ward which is the first ever expansion so you do have the free trial that does include the first couple of um expansions and if you want to buy the game after that obviously you can um it's a lot of content. It actually took me about three months to get through all that content. And that was playing every day. Um, okay, I'm sure the chatting ones have a couple faster. But to answer your question, if you treat the game, there are so many different things to the game that, that are appealing and are going to appeal to different things, right? So, okay, well, we've lost the chat now. Yeah, good job. Yes, good job, chat. Yes, you're doing your job. It was good. Yes, good job, chatting ones. Good job. Yes, you're doing great. Good job. It was good. Copy this. So, Ollie, what I would say is kind of treat the game how, how I would treat it is while you're leveling, while you're going through the main story, right? When you get to end game, it's very different. There's lots and lots of things to do. You know, there's lots of collectibles. There's lots of uh, side things that you can do. There's player housing. You know, there's lots and lots of time sinks. Um, 
there's fishing there's loads of things to do so you have all of that so put that aside you also have like raiding and general end game things as well you know like you would have like in world of warcraft or other mmos you put that aside and, and then until you get to end game, you have a whole entire story. So like picture your favorite movie or picture your favorite series and it's like playing through that. And it's such an immersive, amazing experience. Uh, I would say that the start of the game is kind of like an introductory. So it starts off a bit slow because it's kind of establishing the universe. It's kind of establishing the law. So it can be a bit slow. It's a couple of like fetch quests. It's not like the most engaging thing. I loved it. I loved it. I love the game from the very get-go, but I feel like you kind of need to stick with it because it's not gonna, it's not gonna grip everybody in. It's not gonna grip everybody in at the start because it is a bit slow, slower in comparison to other expansions. So you have to establish the world, you have to establish the law, and then you get into Heaven's Ward, which is the first expansion, and then it kind of grips you in kind of even more. So what I would say, Ollie, is stick with it, really try, and then try and get to Heaven's Ward, like try and get through the base game and the introduction, and then make a make a decision. The free trial includes the first expansion. So you can do the first the base game and the entirety of the first expansion, and then make a decision, see if you want to buy it. How did I do? That was my genuine heartfelt opinion. That wasn't I'm not paid to be here. I'm not paid to be here, all right? I'm just saying my honest take. <laughs> oh, is that too good? Okay. <laughs> okay. This is heartfelt too. Leron! Thanks, streamer. Money after the stream. Thank you. I get two jills for that. Uh, what has been your opinion on the dungeons so far? The dungeons are totally different to my usual experience of dungeons. So, you know, in World of Warcraft, I play dungeons for the very competitive high-end aspect, you know? Like, I've been a very serious Mythic Plus player. I've played within, like, the top rank one position, you know? Like, really, really high-end. And I love dungeons for that reason. But you know what's good? It's good coming to Final Fantasy and playing dungeons as a an immersive experience because usually I don't care about the dungeon. I'm there like to kill stuff and I don't pay attention to anything. Like, I'm there to like complete the timer, you know, like, I don't really care about anything. But like playing dungeons in Final Fantasy where I'm taking in the scenery, I'm listening to the music, I care about the, f the boss fights because they're thematic and they suit the characters, you know, like the boss mechanics are kind of built around why you're there and the story and it's been a totally different dungeon experience i would say and and i love it for that i absolutely love it for that it it's the immersion um and there have been some dungeons you know the most recent dungeon i've done the music was so good and the boss fights were so encapturing that's the word isn't it my brain my streamer brains Streamer affix happening. Um, and the voice lines as well. The voice lines in the dungeon, the story in the dungeon. It's captivating. Very captivating. What did I say? I meant captivating. That's why it didn't sound right. I was like, that doesn't sound right. I meant it captivating. Um, and the dungeons themselves also tell the story. Immersive, captivating. I meant captivate, enchanting. Maybe I meant enchanting. I meant enchanting and captivating. But yeah, sorry, my, my streamer brain's kicking in. Well, I don't have brain cells anyway, so it's hard. I'm so used to watching the VODs, I was just shocked to realise I can write. Hello, Tess. I do need to play catch up. Um, I do apologise for the VOD watchers. I know on YouTube, I, I need to catch up with the VODs. I I, I will I promise to get on top of that. It's because I had the race world first in WoW, and I had the race world first in Final Fantasy, and now I'm getting back into like properly streaming again. So I, I, I apologize for the VOD watchers say on YouTube. I have got a little bit behind, but I will catch up with those. So bear with me. I also have so many videos that I want to post as well. I'm trying to get my head around, but yeah, I will catch up with everything. Um, and char capture and capture exactly thank you english 
Uh, but yeah, so bear with me. I'm a bit slow. I feel like I need to get my, uh, I need to realize my limitations and like get help with like the, the, wit, the places that I need help with. Cause I do struggle to like deal with everything by myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so that's what I think about dungeons so far in Final Fantasy. I think early on the dungeons were cool. You know, the first couple of dungeons I did, they were cool, but I, I kind of had my wild brain where I was kind of like, yeah, I'll just kill stuff. I don't. It's not that I don't care, but you know what I mean? I just kill stuff, like whatever. I'm not really gonna pay attention to anything. But the more I've been playing and the more I've done the dungeons, I feel like they've ramped up themselves, but also like I care more, you know? It's okay, the Black Mave rotation is hard without help. Have you tried scathing? Exactly, ABC, always be scathing. Uh, so Ollie, I hope that answers your question. Like I said, I would give the full free trial a go. The basics, the base game, and then the first expansion. And you have to bear in mind that it ramps up, like rapidly ramps up, you know, because it's like a 10 year old game now. So when you start, it's going to be a bit sluggish or a bit slow in comparison to like how it gets. Um, but for me, I was captivated from the get go, but I understand that that's not most people's experience. So, oh, Nico, are you okay? Nico? Just a frog on, frog on a fence. Hey, Nico, just breaking your ankles on stream. Ow. Just a frog on a post. No, no mind. Nora, you're so adorable. Nora's so cute. We love the happy frog, Nora. And we also love Shayla dressed as a clown. You look amazing. We killed Nora. Wait, we death noted Nora. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to death note Nora. Wait, we death noted Nora. No, heavens ward strikes again. Hello, Abso. Abso's here. Hello, Abso. Abso's not been very well. Abso's had a really, really severe stomach bug. He's been in so much pain the last few days. So we need to hug his Abso without getting infected. Yeah, Abso's been really poorly the last few days. Like, really, really poorly. Poor Abso. I don't know Death Note, Pervy Sage. I don't know Death Note. I've been told what Death Note is, I think. Like, vaguely. Like, basically, you kind of write somebody's name in a notebook and then it kind of sentences them to death, I think. That's, like, the extent that I know. I've never watched it. I thought it's an anime, isn't it? Hey, Jordan, hope you're well. Lovely to see you again. By the way, we, ah, Woo has been stuck in my head since yesterday, so thanks for that. You're welcome, Nightshade. I actually played Wee Wah Woo in the opening starting screen today. Uh, it's about eating crisps from what I remember. All right, I can do that. I love crisps. Uh, and you can write the details of how they die. Oh God, it gets very dark then. That is technically not wrong. Yeah, so I haven't watched it. I've never watched any anime, so, you know. I, 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 it was more every time I said I loved a character in Heaven's Word. Do we have any sprouts? Uh, something happened to them. So it's essentially like death noting. So I only know like that very small part of it. You watch Yu-Gi-Oh though. Oh, I don't, do we have to do this spiel again? I know that anime stands for animated. Yes, I've watched animated films. Yes, I've watched animated shows. But I feel like there is a difference between I feel like I have this conversation a lot. It's really hard. Like sometimes I just want to say stuff with the with and everyone to have the context. But it's so hard to like have certain conversations and lightly talk about it without over or going into like the deep explanation again. Um, but I, okay. <laughs> My favorite anime is Tom and Jerry's freaking spinning duck. What is that? Oh, anime is not just animation. It's specific to a certain variant that's generally Japanese. So that's kind of how I see it. I agree. You can say you only watch, seen mainstream anime released in the West. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, Pokemon would be on TV, right? And so would Yu-Gi-Oh. But I'd, I wouldn't go to, to like a, an anime convention. I, I, or, or, I, or I wouldn't say, yeah, I watch anime. I watch you, Pokemon, you know, like I, you know what I mean? 
There's a difference between Aladdin and Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. So like, I understand. I just mean, so how should I phrase it so that we don't fall into out of context, lacking critical information again? It's better to say I've only seen mainstream Western anime, like cartoons, like kids shows. Like kids shows, is that is that a better way of saying it? Why are we spinning? Why are we spinning? What's happened? You're still cool in my eyes. Oh my God, pervy sage. I'm never cool, ever. At least I'm cool to one person. You could have to phrase it to avoid wrath. No, not the wrath. It's just, I say this a couple of times and because I've explained this so much, I'm like, oh, do I have to explain it again? I need a better way of saying it that if anyone's watching me out of context or anyone doesn't know me and hasn't been around for these conversations, it doesn't spark the same conversation. Because I feel like every time I say I've never watched anime, people are like, oh yeah, but you know, you've watched uh, Simpsons. <laughs> okay, no one's ever said that part. <laughs> um, I think Tataru knows how to <laughs> to deal with the freak. I've watched Futurama. <laughs> Uh, people know what you mean by anime. Just, okay. My favorite anime character is Tataru. Come on, look at her. Look how adorable she looks. You've seen anime, but are you, but you, are you are, but let me start again. But you are not an anime watcher. Well, you don't know what they, have you seen Final Fantasy 40 anime clips? <gasps> no. I actually never watched Dragon Ball Z. Like Dragon Ball Z was quite a popular cartoon when I was growing up and I actually never watched that one. I watched Digimon, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Calling anime as kids shows is very risky. It puts it to, and there are many, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally do that, but there have been a couple of times where I say I've never seen anime and then people are like, yeah, but you watch Shrek. I feel like people are memeing, but yeah. Um. Sorry, yeah, if I ask somebody to watch anime and they answer Family Guy, I'm gonna give them a weird fuck look. I know that, that's why I say I don't, I, I don't watch, I've never watched anime, because I, I understand that and I wouldn't do that. But perhaps a better way of saying it is, I've only watched like kid shows and then, then this doesn't have to be a conversation. I also brought an actual Beyblade Blade toy and it was lit. I loved Beyblade, hang on a minute. I loved Beyblade. I had the stadiums. I had all of the Beyblades. I freaking loved Beyblade. I built my own custom Beyblade as well. Why am I so sweaty? I swear to God, I built the most OP Beyblade. I like pieced it all together and I balanced it out and everything. I was, I was, so, why am I such a sweaty child? But yeah, I, I legit took Beyblades apart and I balanced it out. I, I, I built my own like Beyblade and it was freaking sick. It never lost. I'd take it to school and I'd shred everyone. <laughs> I've never talked about that before. Um, but yeah, I freaking love Beyblade. I put a screw through the base of my blade blade so it spun at the point of the oh, at the point of the screw. Those black marks get illegal Beyblade parts. Yes, yeah, Frost Shocker. That's a secret. Uh, what was your blade? Beyblade Raider IO? It was too high. It was too high for anyone to comprehend. My Beyblade Raider IO was, uh, it was, it was in the tens of thousands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a smile better suits a hero. Vivada. You can't just hit us with that. You know what, Vivada? I actually thought today that we should go and visit Harchfart's grave. I actually thought that today. I was like, should we go and visit Lord Harchfart's grave? It's been a while. The screw Beyblade spun so well, it shattered the attack disc of my friend's Beyblade. I did actually shred a couple of people's Beyblades before. That did legitimately happen. I do too, Ravana. I do too. A smile better suits this. Excuse me, chatty ones are acting up. I just know if you've asked chat for anime recommendations, we will definitely give you the most wholesome options and nothing effed up or pervy. We promise. Do those exist? Why do I ask that? It probably does, right? No, I, it's not something, it's just something that in my, in my sort of mainstream upbringing, let's say, again, this is going to be like difficult. Sometimes I just want to say things and not feel like I'm on Twitter where everyone's going to like catch you out 
and um actually you and take you out of context like sometimes i wish i could just say stuff uh, but yeah, I, let's just say I, I, I never knew anybody who watched anime. It wasn't, I didn't really know. So I kind of, the way I kind of vaguely got anime was that it was these kind of like cartoons, but these quite like heavy cartoons. But like, as I've gotten older, I realize now that like sometimes there's a lot that can be achieved through animation that can't be achieved through live action, you know? And it's, as an adult, when I rewatch Yu-Gi-Oh, it's very like kid tones. And sometimes I want like the character development of my favorite characters. Sometimes, you know, dolls are great and everything, but I want to see the characters like exist. You know, that kind of like adult writing. So I understand the appeal. I very much do. And that's why I'm like, I really do want to watch some instead of watching freaking Yu-Gi-Oh over and over and over again. I see it now, like, I understand. Uh, across the Spider-Verse is an amazing example. I feel bad for live action Spideys after that. I actually haven't seen the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man films. Um, what about Ghibli films? I don't know what that is. What's a Ghibli film? Uh, Oshi no Ko this season is amazing. Okay, apparently you lot are just having a meeting again. Excuse me. Excuse me, what's being said in the meeting? I'm not allowed. Live action Spidey films have been good lately. I have to, I have to say, I freaking love Spider-Man. I went back and I watched the original Spider-Man films and they were so good. I love the original. I love the original. Live action Spidey films have been good. I read that one already. Ghibli films. You would love Ghibli films. What are Ghibli films? Yugo is actually super dark in the original Japanese, English. Oh my God, ja Jade, actually, 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 having said that, oh my goodness, mayo lasagna. Oh my goodness, hello mayo lasagna. Mayo stays on the lasagna. This is such a cute adventure of late. <laughs> so adorable. Uh, studio Ghibli they made. Oh, it's a studio. It's an animation. Oh, it's an animation studio. It's an animation style. <gasps> right, I got you. I got you. Oh, actually, I did watch Arcane. I don't know if that's still classified or not. Um, but I did watch Arcane with my dad. And me and my, and me and my dad have never watched anything like that. Ever. So that's like the first thing that I've ever really watched that would maybe be in that category we did watch arcane we did watch arcane me and my dad watched arcane and we ne we'd never seen anything like that you would love spy x family anya is live you in anime form is live you in anime form okay shara thank you for telling me that uh yeah i think it's kind of like uh, yeah you'd enjoy stored art online mmo focus did I have, no, I actually didn't watch Avatar. That was another show that was like always on when I was a kid, but I never actually put on. Uh, yeah, dad loved Arcane. And dad's very much like, he's not really like a gamer or anything like that. It's the first time either of us have watched like an adult animated series. And we both loved it. Like Arcane was incredible. Not only the art style and animation, but again, the music, how the characters were written. One of my favorite scenes in Arcane. Oh my goodness, it's like such an epic song. I feel like I should play it for you, but we'll have to do that another time. I don't want to ruin it for anyone. I mean, to be fair, I listened to this song after Arcane and I didn't know where it was in the actual, anim uh, in the actual series. I had to look up where that song was placed in the series. And then when I rewatched that scene with the song, I was like, oh damn, that is a powerful scene. But it was even more powerful when I, cause like when you kind of watch something, you kind of don't really take it in as much. Like it's only after you kind of deep dive or you watch it again and you can take more things in. And I listened, to, yeah, I listened to the song separately. And then I went back and rewatched that scene and I could really hear the song and I could really appreciate the gravity of the situation. It was just freaking epic. 
The writing in Arcane is insanely top top tier, non-stop hard hitting lines. Yeah, it is amazing. Uh, sadly, it's a parallel parallel universe league and other right games. Confirmed license, League of Legends story, post. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. No, it's not. No, sorry, it's not the Imagine Dragon song. It is. All right, I'm gonna get it up. I'm gonna get it up. Uh... I want to just listen to it for a second. I'm gonna have to mute the VOD, maybe. We might have to mute the VOD, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. Let, let me pause the in-game sound for a second. We'll just pause the in-game sound for a second. We've got to listen to this song because it's freaking incredible. Uh, I actually like the... I actually really like the... Hold the tie, your tie. Wait, mute the VOD, mute the VOD. It's guns for hire. It's okay, I've muted the VOD. Sorry, VOD watchers. This is such a beautiful song. It sounds like a Bond theme. It is so epic. Is it loud enough? It is such a Bond theme. It's like when... It suits the rain, actually. God, the goosebumps. And I just get like full goosebumps, but I will I will pause it. But this this song is really freaking powerful. It is such a powerful song. It doesn't ruin anything. It doesn't ruin anything. I kind of noticed it, but I didn't in the scene that it was in. Again, I heard that song and I had to go back and rewatch it. And like, where is this song in the series? But um, oh my goodness, it is just I had that on repeat for so long. It's just so dramatic. It's like that classic like classical dramatic powerful you know what i mean and that's like the genre that i really enjoy it's why i like musicals so much sometimes uh what's the deal with reacts do we post in discord for the mods well the thing with reacts it's kind of difficult because you guys did link me the latest twitch stuff as it happened hello tenhu hello hello oh oops oh i changed my stance i meant to do this there we go hello tenhu uh, yeah, so you guys did link kind of current stuff and we kind of looked at it, but in terms of Final Fantasy stuff, I generally leave it to the mods to maintain the video Final Fantasy recommendations and we try and schedule it in when it's appropriate. Um, generally that's how it's been working. I don't know if we need to revise that, but I'm kind of, because I'm scared of spoilers, I want people to feel like they can freely link stuff. Uh, and then kind of the mods link it to me where appropriate, you know what I mean? But if you do have any suggestions, we do have a spoilers channel in the Discord. We also have a video recommendation channel in the Discord as well. So, you know, post anything you want in those channels um, and link it to the mods. And then I get linked it where appropriate, you know, like the no clip documentary and other things like that. Uh, Summer Pints videos as well. Um, I, I watched one of Pints videos when he held his guild hostage. But it was at a certain point that I got to the M in the MSQ that I then start watching it. So yeah, that's generally how it works. Just kind of link it in that channel. Uh, I had no idea the soundtrack had music like that. Maybe I should watch it. If you've not seen Arcane, I would I cannot recommend it enough. It reminds me of Final Fantasy a lot actually in terms of like the quality 
and the real raw emotion, the raw emotion from the passion that you feel the people who worked on it with and the care that went into it and the quality, you know, the music, the animation style, the art style, the way that the characters are written. It's very like peak Final Fantasy-esque. If you've not seen it, I think it's on Netflix, but I would really, really recommend it. It is amazing. And the the soundtrack is something else, honestly. Oh my God, the soundtrack is so good. There are so many different genres in it. There are so many epic scenes and epic moments. Uh, the one, the 10,000 hours of Black Mage could be right now. Anime has so many awesome tracks I've listened to all on its own. I can imagine. I can imagine. It's like Final Fantasy, right? Um, Arcane is made of League. Sometimes something so toxic can spawn something so good. There you go. Sometimes I play League and then I realize why I don't play it. Uh, it annoys me so much that a lot of people dismiss animation and games as legitimate means of great storytelling. I know. I agree, Excelsior. Uh, Celsia. Kelsia, and I wouldn't, if I wasn't kind of sort of semi in this world, I also wouldn't either, you know, like my dad would have never watched anything like Arcane and it was probably one of the best things that we've watched and it was really nice to watch it together, but we watched it, if you do watch Arcane, I would recommend watching it in uh, bursts of three, so originally Arcane was released three episodes at a time, so you'd get three and then I think it was a week or so goes by and you get the next three. So me and dad watched it like that. We watched the three together and then stopped. And then like the next day or whenever we watched the next three, I kind of would recommend watching it like that. I don't know why, but it kind of just, I don't know. I feel like they were made in those three parts, but I might be wrong. Uh, but I feel like it does kind of add to the experience. Oh, if you want to binge watch it, by all means do that. Don't know what your dad's opinion on animation, but Castlevania might be fun for him specific. A lot more action, traditional drama, about comedy. Yeah, we might. I don't know, just generally dad's not really, um, uh, he's not like closed-minded, you know? We just, it's just some things are not, unless they get recommended to you, you it's not something that you would naturally, like mainstream is kind of in your face everywhere, right? Like kind of mainstream stuff. And that's kind of how me and my dad are. So you guys recommending something would then I would then go out of my way to search for it, but it wouldn't it wouldn't ever come up within that mainstream existence. Does that make sense? So pints of ten thousand hours of Black Mage is so good. Am I at the point where I could watch that? But yeah, thank you for the recommendation, Narnun. Castlevania noted, noted, not death noted, but noted. <laughs> I made a funny. <gasps> Hello, Tadenu. How are you doing? Um. But yeah, I think we could watch 10,000 Hours of Black Mage, but I kind of, maybe I should review it with the mods, but I kind of wait uh, to be recommended stuff. I forget if he shows Shadowbringer stuff. Okay, well, we'll pause it for now. We have MSQ to get on with. We'll pause it for now, but um, we will watch it as soon as I can. As soon as I get recommended it by the modding ones, then I will watch it. Coming then to Taru, everybody's missed your voice first to arrive as always hopefully the others will not be far behind we could have got a starbucks on route oh my god <laughs> please don't be voice acted please don't be voice acted please don't be voice acted no voice acting ah oh, there you are all packed and ready to go oh saved oh okay then the chatting ones are saved this time you're saved this time fine you win this round you win this round. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. Happily, however, all now seems to be in order. <laughs> I could read it out after the voice acted it. Just in case anyone missed it the first time. Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and enjoy the journey, won't you? It may be your last chance to rest for a while. I love Zataru. She looks so good. She had such a glow up. That would depend on the good captain's choice of route. As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. Yeah, stop trying to get everyone drunk on porn star martinis, Tataru. 
And what sordid episode is this, pray tell? Fruvius, thank you so much for the three months. Good morning, okay, Yiffa. I pray your day is going wonderfully. All the best for seeing you, Fruvius. Hello, hello. How is your day going? Not to speak of, I assure you. Yeah! I freaking love Alice. She always sasses Alpha Node. Hold that ship! Wait, who's that? Wait, I recognize that voice. Oh! <laughs> I what are you two voice. doing here? Shouldn't you be in Doma? <laughs> I've been caught in 4K. <laughs> oh, I recognise that voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you now, streamer? Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. We half wondered if I had done something to offend. Never. Upon learning that you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. Oh! No! <laughs> you mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? Oh. That too, I. But there was something else I felt I had to say. What? You helped us win our freedom, and for that I cannot thank you enough. <clears throat> I've had it's just dramatically raining. Accordingly, after we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. If you would have us. Oh! We harbored no expectations of such generous aid. And as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? I was going to say, you know, we've just won the war. We won, won back your freedom. Your army is going to be in short supply right now, surely. I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive defense. To wit, we will send forth Shinobi to provinces far and wide to spread word of our victory, that we might inspire others to take up arms as we did. Well, you should focus on that then. That's a, that's a more important cause, I think. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid, how am I to face myself? And Gorsetsu. Gorsetsu. I feel like Gorsetsu is the most noble and honorable character and they all they all really are but gosetsu was just so honorable so inspirational honestly as you wish i will relay your offer to the eorzean alliance why is it raining All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lise, to seize the future you want. Never forget. This is such an important moment for Lise. Hien. She needed this. She needed that. Lise, believe in yourself, please. I won't, Yen. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. Good! Oh, girl, yes! <laughs> I will hold you to that. <clears throat> Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. Oh! <gasps> Yugiri? By your oh. leave, I shall pave the way for our new alliance. I love Yugiri! Tataru knows everyone. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor! 
Ooh, laggy. It seems our time is at an end. Go well, my friends. And may we meet again beneath a western sky. No, Yuri. No, you. You should hydrate yourselves in your meeting. Your private chatting ones meet. Does he want to talk to us? Oh, a Merrick or Hien. Good poll, good poll. Tadaru is so tiny. Right, meanwhile in the Royal Palace of Alamigo. Okay. We haven't seen Alamigo for a while. I always knew that woman was unfit for command. Oh, he really scares sorry, I need to fix my face, but he actually really scares me and the music is scary, so I'm like this. It's like when you watch a scary film through like your fingers. What are they gonna say? Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole and for what? You wouldn't have done a better job. What is this? Backseat. Me, 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 me. The Imperial Tribunus Militum. Me, me, me -ing there. The backseat leading. You wouldn't have done a better job. Why am I defending her? What's he gonna say? Is he gonna say anything? Oh my god. He is so scary. You never know what he's going to do. And an unpredictable villain is a terrifying one. Is he just going to kill? Oh. The beast yet lives. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. He is truly terrifying. Truly terrifying. Because he just doesn't care. Oh my god, the music. You walk into my parlor once more. He likes her spirit. For Dolorem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. To present the prisoner? Who? What? Who's prisoner? That'll be someone from our team, right? <gasps> no! No! How? Krill? No! How? How did he get Krill? Krill? No! How? Why? How? How did this happen? Zenosia Galvus, I presume. Krill? No! She must have handed herself in. Why? why it's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster. A ravenous, insatiable fiend. Krill, Krill, I feel like you're gonna sass, you're gonna sass the wrong person. Just be careful, Krill. You, give the butcher your weapon. The butcher? My, yes, my lord. Her, the butcher? No, don't order my her. Lord. This is. Oh my god, the music is. A reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more capable than its former owner. I. I swear. I'll not disappoint you, my lord. 
You won't, because you're horrible. Good. Now, silence that mewling little piglet. I will not hear another sound past her lips. Until I strip the fat from her. No! What? No! No, I'm not pressing next. I'm not, no, I'm not doing it. She's alive right now. If I press next, she, no. You know what? I'm happy to stay in the screen forever. I'm not pressing next. I'm not doing it. I don't want to press next. How d mewling little piglet. I would not hear another sound past her lips until I strip the fat from her. How did she get captured? Krill? No. 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 You can't just leave it at that. What? No! What is this cliffhanger? What? 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 But how can everyone just be standing here? Stop standing here! Everyone's just standing here! Then. Krill! What? She, we, okay, we didn't see her die. We didn't see her die. She's fine. She, nothing happened because we didn't we didn't we didn't see it no copium she's not bacon now i didn't kill her she's fine 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 xeno is honestly freaking horrifying like not only is he an unpredictable villain not only is he unpredictable but he has no boundaries as in he'll just kill his own men like he is capable of anything and that is truly hor horrifying uh, he, he is horrifying wait, wait what does everyone have to say we should inform the admiral of our arrival and brief her on that which took place in doma before leaving the city compared to kugain's vivid colors limsa Liminsa seems a bit lacking that's true. Lim uh, Kuga Kugane is actually really pretty. Still beautiful in its own way, but not as much as before. Alfie, stop comparing. They're all beautiful in their own right. It feels like a lifetime ago that we left for Kugane, doesn't it? It actually feels like a long time has been since we've been here. Back in Eorzea at last. Ready to pick up where we left off and finish the fight? We're not who we were when we left. We're stronger and wiser. So let's do it. Let's get back to Big Alamigo and defeat Xenos once and for all. I don't think we can. No, you know what? No doubters. Doubters out. He is. He, uh, he, he is demonic. More so, not just like the way that he is, but his powers are also. Uh, uh, that he's not a mortal. Put it like that. It's not a human. Okay. Or higher. <gasps> I remembered that. Humans are called hires in the game, aren't they? Look at this sprout go. Oops. I didn't mean to threaten you. He's Galean. Oh. Oh, I was close. I was close. All right. I was close. There are worse things than killing. Spoke of splitting her fat. Oh, I don't like it. Home is where the heart is and Alfie is in Eorzea. And Alfie's is in Eorzea. Here we are, home at last. I must say, the journey passed more quickly than I had expected. That would be due to the absence of otherworldly interference, I expect. <laughs> Frickin' love Alice, eh? I should be glad if we do not speak of that unpleasantness again. <clears throat> but in spite of all that and more, we return better for the experience and, more importantly, triumphant. How did Krill get captured, though? We left Krill and Yushtola, so where is Yushtola? I... Okay, focus, focus, focus. Indeed, and with Doma freed of Imperial oppression, it is only right that we turn our thoughts to the plight of Big Alamigo. 
Well, I'm all for that, obviously. But I think you should go and see the refugees at Revenant's Toll before doing anything else. They'll be thrilled to hear what we've accomplished. And it'd be best coming from you. Thank you. I shall do as you suggest. <gasps> Meryl! I see I'm not too late. Meryl! Admiral, what are you doing here? The East Aldenar Trading Company informed me of your impeding arrival. I have tidings I thought best to share with you in person. Could you imagine that you're just like in Limsa Liminsa and freaking Meryl just walks past you? From Girabania. Aye, the Alliance still holds the wall, despite several Imperial counterattacks. But we have been unable to press further into occupied territory. Commander Kemp and his men, meanwhile, have made great strides towards rebuilding their depleted ranks. They have even taken it upon themselves to attempt some few operations with mixed results, I am sorry to say. It was a complication arising from one such venture which moved me to seek you out. Oh? During a mission to transport wounded resistance fighters to the Rising Stones, Krill Bald was taken prisoner. Krill, how do they know where she is being held? Krill's bald. See, I keep saying under her hood she's bald. Every bald, everyone's like, no, she's not. Angie, Angie, smudging twit longers incoming. No, she's not bald. Confirmed bald. They do not. But your comrades were informed at once, and I'm told Thancred is in gear of Barnia looking for her as we speak. Thancred! We haven't seen Thancred in ages. How could this have happened? We must seek out Thancred without delay. Nay, Krill taught me better than that. It would be unwise to act without first acquiring a full understanding of the situation. Where's your Yashtola? Thank you for informing us. Tired though we may be, we must make haste to Kashram Orions. Pray excuse us, Admiral. Lady Yugiri. Maybe I should get dressed for this. Immersion break. Um. Hello, Limsa. Yes. Classic Limsa. No, you know what? This looks fine. Everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay, no, there's nothing to look at. Nothing to look at. No, nothing. No, you put your binoculars away. No. Nothing to look at. Just your regular, usual day in Limsa. Regular, normal day in Limsa. <laughs> you lot are always so sussy about Limsa, but I don't understand why. I'm lacking critical information. Look, everyone's just sitting around, you know? Everyone's just normal. There's nothing to see here. There's only a cute cute. Okay, where are we going? Uh, uh, uh speak with oh we need to travel right castrum orions okay we need to go watermelon no concern we don't need to be concerned we're fine no reason exactly no nothing to be <gasps> thancred who's uh, aaron aaron Vold? we haven't seen thancred in ages thancred Oh no, not spooky music. There you are. You heard the news. In broad strokes from the Admiral from Admiral Blowhiv's win. What happened? Krill and a squadron of resistance fighters were escorting Yashtola and several other wounded to the rising scones for further treatment when they were ambushed by Imperial forces. Arinvold and his men fought valiantly, but in the chaos I will make no excuses. We failed to protect her. Don't be, do not be so hard on yourself. You protected your stroller and the others, did you not? Tell us about the attack. I mean, very true, Alice, very true. It was the skulls. They knew a path across the wall we hadn't found. We thought we were safe once we reached the Black Shroud. We weren't expecting an ambush. I stopped breathing for a bit and I feel like I'm getting hiccups. Okay. During the fighting, I caught a glimpse of their leader's memories. It was all planned. The advantage of having a walker in the field. 
I'm not as strong in the echo as okay is. Wait, I feel like we should know Aaronveld if Aaronveld if he has the echo. Wait, we must have met him before then. My brain's lacking critical information. Half the time it's enough to knock me on my ass. Like I've taken a dose of concentrated ether. So you walked in for Dola's memories. What did you see? A woman promised the world. Education, training, citizenship. All that and more. If she but sold her soul. A traitor to her people. A pretender to her masters. Is she... Is he talking about yachts... Suyu? Yotsuyu, right? Yeah. It was Xenos himself that get No, he's talking about what he called the Butcher. She was a traitor to her people. She was Alamegan, right? The Butcher. It was Xenos himself that gained that order. Told her to return with Krill Borderston alive? Our agents have been carefully monitoring Imperial communications since the attack but have yet to intercept any transmissions making reference to Krill or her current whereabouts. Fortola. The Butcher, Fortola. Her name's Fortola, right? Is her name Fortola? Fedora, okay. <laughs> I, th I actually did call her Fedora by accident. I forgot about that. If their orders were to bring Krill back alive, we can save, we can save her if we move quick. S save her, save her, save her. As you say, time is of the essence, which is why I intend to slip past enemy lines and see what information I can uncover on my own. In the meantime, it is up to you and our allies to command the Imperials' undivided attention. Lots of shouting and explosions and so forth. Keep them distracted and I will find her. Well, look, I know how to distract them. Look at my jammies! Look how bright they are! Ah, uh, distract this, but... <laughs> I think we can distract them just fine. Very well. I wish I could do more to aid you, but I understand. Commander Kemp is on his way to the castrum as we speak for a meeting with General Alden. If you hurry, you could find him on the road and discuss the situation beforehand. I think OK and I are going to go see Conrad like he suggested. You will wait here. getting intense isn't it Aaronvold I feel like I should know you Alphanord called it an advantage but in truth it was a liability the vision left me reeling and Fedo <laughs> Fedora sees the op opening to push past and snatch up Krill I'm sorry yeah, you protected everybody else and you did your best that's all anyone could ask for we will deal with this it's fine uh, okay I did the thing again where I I walked and then thought okay hello cat cat you're guarding that little wall there. You're doing great. Ooh. Ooh, I like this zone music. Haven't heard this in a while. I forget. Very nice. <gasps> Minago. Oh my god, it's the Migoti. Hello, Migoti. It's good to see you again. Though I wish it was under better circumstances. Ah, it's Minago. What can I say? Patient isn't one of my virtues. Uh, excuse me. We can't rename the characters. You're being disrespectful to the writers by renaming the characters. Excuse me. No renaming the characters, please. You're disrespecting my audiobook. Hello, comrade. Well, well. Isn't this a pleasant surprise? It fills my heart with joy to see you two hale and healthy. Welcome home, Lise. Okay, I'm sure you've heard about Krill by now. That's why we're here. I'm still not sure what to think about it, but we'll save her. We'll definitely save her somehow. I, I have no doubt that you will. You look stronger for your time in the Far East, lass. That's good news for Krill. I'd like to think so, but enough about me. How was everything with you in the Resistance? Better than when you last saw us, and no mistake. Aaronvold has been a godsend. Him and Minego and all other young bloods have achieved so much in such a short time. Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for the gifted sub. That's very kind of you. Thank you. 
We've been blessed to receive the support to the Flames Alamegan Brigade, who have been instrumental in freeing our countrymen from labour camps throughout Girabania, as well as some political prisoners from the city proper, believe it or not. Together with the refugees returning from Aldar and elsewhere, we've had no shortage, shortage of able-bodied men and women eager to join the cause. I knew you wouldn't stop fighting, even after what happened at the Reach. What's the habit, I suppose? Though we've come a long way, we still have far to go, but we'll fight for every ill, and sooner or later, we'll get to Big Alamigo. Big Alamigo. But listen to me prattling on. Same. When we should be making haste to cash from Orions. There's no point you telling me everything now when you'll only have to say it again for the Flame General's benefit. You're right. I'll go on ahead and tell the others that you're not far off. Thank you, Lee. Okay, time to go then. Time to go back. What is this stalling? Look, we have to come all the way out here to talk to them here just to go all the way back. Unbelievable. We need a No, no more meetings. Excuse me. Chatting ones. How dare you? You're having private conversations without me in your stupid meetings. All you're doing in your meetings is... Yeah, that's what I have to say about your stupid meetings. Where the stream is not allowed. No streamer allowed in your private chatting ones meetings. Oh my goodness, Pippin! Hello, Pippin! You have spoken with Thancred then? Good. Take heart. If anyone can track her down, it's him. I believe I hear Commander Kemp's party approaching. If you're ready to address Father and the others, let us be about it. Okay, uh, 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 um, um, this one. That felt right. <gasps> Round Vaughn! Oh! There you are! There is Commander Kemp, I see! I know you are eager to speak of our next move, but we should first hear more about your last. Tell us of your deeds in Doma! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can keep this voice up. <laughs> Please be voice acted. Please be voice acted. Please be voice acted. <laughs> Please be voice acted. Please. <laughs> Please be voice acted. <laughs> Save us. Pray, join oh. me in welcoming our Scion allies, but recently returned from their mission to the Far <laughs> East. We have been most <laughs> eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, eventful as we understand it was. Thank you for answering our prayers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Very well, allow me. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. That's quite the achievement. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, my hand is shaking. Hand to slay with the 10 thousand bits oh my goodness oh my god uh, 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 thank you so much <gasps> ten thousand bits my favorite frost mage han to slay thank you so much like that is so generous. Thank you so much. And Nanosphere, thank you so much for the 100 bits as well. You guys, thank you. I cannot believe that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Peepo bits. <laughs> Big old Peepo bits. Thank you so much. Wait, you guys have a crystal. This is another emote where you're all holding a crystal. Hang on a minute. So don't eat the bits. No eating the bits. Just hug them. We can hug the bits. We're not eating them. Thank you so much for the 10,000 bits. Honestly, that is really kind of you. So, Mansi, thank you so much for the sob as well. You're not a popping off. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I don't want an immersion break, but... Uh, all right, fine. We're just... Okay, fine. Lick the bits then. See what I get. All right, fine. You've got 10,000 bits. 10,000 and 100 bits to lick. There you go. There you go. That's going to keep you occupied for a while. 
Wolfie, thank you so much for the gifted sub as well. Thank you. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance at victory. We could learn a thing or two from that lad. Yeah, it was genius. It was genius. Bea? What the 100? Sorry, the 1,000 bits? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your generosity. That is so kind. Yes, more bits to lick. Thank you so, so much for the 1,000 bits. Oh my goodness. The chatting ones are feasting today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate that. That's very, very generous. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hien is very inspiring. Our agents report a flurry of communications between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. It is plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Good. Every Imperial unit in occupied territory will be on the lookout for civil unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. Yes! Take advantage of the situation. If we have a chance, I may have the last one we're ever going to get. While we've done our best to rebuild the resistance, the Imperials have only increased their efforts to root out sympathizers. If we keep on playing for smaller prizes, it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. <laughs> Just that we won't come back from. Yeah, that's very true, Conrad. A swift advance seems best for all concerned. Not least poor Mistress Kryle. Kyle! Then let us waste no more time. The campaign for Alamegan liberation begins now. Our first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. And we do it all in our jammies. Oh, yeah. I name this operation Rolger's Beacon. For as Rolger once sent his star to guide our ancestors to these lands, so too shall it see us home. I read it as Rolgar's Bacon, and it's times like this where I'm glad that it's voice acted and we can be saved from the streamer. Rolgar's Bacon! Fry them! I agree! For Rolgar's Bacon, we fry them today! Oh no! The success of this operation is paramount! So long as the Empire holds Castellum Valadonia, the main host cannot advance. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep up this voice. <laughs> Xenos knows this, which is why he has ordered the Fodwala and her men to see the bridge's defense. So we'll get to fight the Skulls again. The Butcher is not to be underestimated. She is, de <laughs> she is decisive, ruthless, and feared by foes and friends alike. But we have a plan to defend her. Defeat her. <laughs> I don't give stupid voices often. Stop giving me stupid voices. First, we will send an alliance force down the main road, signaling our intention to mount an all-out assault. The garrison will muster their forces and prepare for a protected battle. However, they will soon find out that we are ill-prepared for their counter-attack. Our men will begin to break ranks and flee! <laughs> <laughs> I see. Show them your backs and give them a target too tempting not to pursue. Hi! Fedola is too aggressive not to pass the advantage. She will order her men to give chase. We lure them as fast as the East End. Geezers. Where the commanders will rally their forces and attempt to hold their ground. If all goes to plan, we should be able to keep the greater part of their garrison occupied. Leaving us to tackle the Brid's remaining defenders. Very clever, I'm sure. 
But what are we to do if the Imperials smell a rat? The Imperials can smell you! Haha, <laughs> got him! Haha! <laughs> You're being smelt! They can smell you! Yeah, look! See? I've returned before we've taken the place. I don't need you to take Velodina, Commander Kemp. All I need is for you to flag, fly from your flag from its tower. Can we do that? You mean to trick them into believing that the bridge has fallen? Oh? Aye, we convince them Velodina is lost. Hit them hard with our reinforcements and watch them go running for the hills. <laughs> Okay, I have too much fun voicing Ravan, sorry. Then, when the dust has settled, we regroup at the Castellum. What say you? It's a bold plan, but a good one. We'll do it. Look, okay, this voice happened, and we have to stick with it, because it's canon. In that case, we shall support both the Resistance and the Alliance forces. Oh, sorry, yeah, no fun allowed in our audiobooks. Uh-uh, that's illegal. Okay, Lise, Arenvald, I ask that you accompany Pama Commander Kemp. Alice and I will remain with the Flame General. Nodders, nodders. Everybody get your jammies on. We will return to Raugar's Reach and make our preparations. As soon as they are complete, we will join you in the field. Godspeed. We may have aged Raul Barn a bit, just a bit. Look, like, just a smidge, all right? We only aged him a little bit. Just a little tiny, I love it, never change. Well, that's the problem, right? When you come up with a stupid voice and then you realize, oh, this character's actually in it for quite a lot, of quite a lot. For example, when I started the, oh, it's Big Alamigo. We haven't been here in ages. It's Big Alamigo. It's Big Alamigo, look, it's so large and vast. Oh. Oh, I asked. okay, I've set the chatting ones off now. Oops, I said the word. Oh no, I said the word. Okay, all right then. Well, I guess we're getting no sense out of the chatting ones for the next like 30 seconds. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Very good chatting ones. Yes, very good. I know that you like that word. Yes, who's good? Very good, yes, good, good job chatting ones. I know that you really like that word. Oh, oh, sorry, you love it. Yes, okay, very, very good. Okay, you love that word. Good job, chatty ones. Good job. Lise, Conrad wasn't kidding when he said they'd made a lot of progress while we were away. Uh, I don't get the, I, I don't know. Every time the word vast is said, chatting ones start popping off. So I don't know. I just know every time the word is said, they just pop off for like 30 seconds. I don't know. I lack critical information as well. Minago. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this. This is going to be grand. Hello, Aaronvold. If it takes 100 battles like this to rescue Krill, then I'll fight in every single one. Oh. I would never be annoyed by the chatting ones. The chatting ones make my day every day. In case you haven't noticed, the flag flying above Velodina is bloody massive. It'd take a dozen men to change it, and far too long besides. But there's no need for all of that, right, Manego? Not so long as I have my griffin and a satchel of glamour prisms, no. <gasps> See, glam is the real endgame confirmed. See, look. Glam confirmed. Aaronvald, you're in charge of the runners between us and the Alliance. No link pearls. Not hello. Oh. No hello. Lice, I want you to look in on the squadrons. Make sure they've got everything they need. Everybody clear? Lick pearls. Oh no. <laughs> aye, sir. Aye, aye. Salute. All forces are depart for Castellum Corvi when ready. That will be all. Okay. Stay with me for a moment if you would. Yes, good job, chatting ones. We salute today. There's a few men I'd like you to look in on personally. Each of them has lost people. I can tell that weighs on their hearts. 
Oh no. There have been a lot of new faces since you were last here. So it's best if I just tell you where to look. One's an officer you'll find in the barber. Another's an older fellow who likes to pass the time on the shore of Starfall. The last is a fiery young lad from L Little Amigo, who I'm told trains by himself by the river in the fringes. You'll know them when you see them. Come find me when you're finished. Okay. Okay, what if, what if we just put jammies? <gasps> Noxissa! Oh my goodness. It is the gothest. It is the queen of goths. Hello, Noxissa. Oh. Oh, what can we give Noxissa? I uh, don't think we should give Noxissa any skin. I don't think we should give Noxissa skin. I think we should give Noxissa some pearl chocolate and some scrambled eggs. Wait, what's this? Oh my gosh, Noxissa. Thank you so much. Wait, are you sure? You have them spare? Oh, thank you, Noxie. Thank you. That's really kind. Thank you so much. Noxissa has the best, best bun girl. Look at Noxie's bun. Iconic. Every time there's a picture of Noxie, like, you know, somebody tags me in a photo on um, Twitter, like a, a group photo, everyone's like, okay, but who's the goth bun girl? Okay, yeah, but who's the bun? <laughs> I'm like, Noxie. <laughs> she is the best. And her adventure, wait, what's her adventure plate? The cutest of goths. Exactly, look, and she's even got some really nice circles on screen. Look, really nice circles here that we like looking at. I know the chatting ones enjoy the circles. Look, these circles and some triangles here. Look, triangles, circles. Noxie, the cutest of goths. Yes, very round circles. Exactly, I know. We can appreciate Noxus's round circles here. Look, look how round they are. I love geometry. <laughs> okay, right. We need to go cheer some grieving ones up. The glasses too. More circles. <gasps> Very true, Dafty Duck. Very true. We do like Noxus's glasses as well. Perfectly round circles, my queen. I know. We all serve Noxie's bun, really. We're ready to serve the queen of goths. Oh, gigantic crystal. Gigantic crystal. Let's go to the furthest one first and then we'll make our way back. We, we, we salute Queen Noxie. Noxie. Oh. Hot-blooded youth. Hello, youth. It's very dark. <laughs> okay, am I right? Yep, I'm pretty okay. I doubt you'd remember me. I do kind of recognize you, but, but I'll never forget you. Saved my life in little Alamigo, you did. Oh, don't mind cute cute. Sorry, we just got, we got zoomies at the moment. Sorry, uh, this is right. Cute cute's got zoomies. Our toddler's got the zoomies. Wilrid and the rest of us has got it into our heads that if we had enough crystals, we could summon Raugir like the Amalja summoned their god. Thankfully, you put a stop to it. Ever hear about what happened to Wilrid? Joined the Braves when they came calling, only to turn up dead one day. Never found out how or why, but I reckon it doesn't matter. Dead's dead after all. Wilrid. I don't think we do. I do remember that. I remember Wilrid, but I don't know if we knew that they were dead. Or maybe we did know that. We found him drowned. Oh, you're right. You are right. We did. At what point was that? At what point was that? I remember this. Where were we? was that? Just before the end of ARR, before the betrayal. Yeah, I remember now. It's coming back to me. 
I've got like the picture of where we found Wilred drowned, but I was it somewhere in Alder? Not in Alder the city, but when we're in the forest investigating, okay, Wilred. But at least he died doing what he thought was right, and maybe that's the best folks like us can hope for, eh? Not that I'm in any hurry, mind. Kept yelling about someone drowning in a puddle. That sounds like me. Hello, swarthy re resistance fighter. I say, if it isn't the lass who helped me find the ward I misplaced. Ah, but there I go again, treating you as an equal. As you should, right? We're all just people. We're all equal. As you should. It wasn't until after you'd gone that one of my comrades pulled me aside and told me it was only the bleeding hero of Eorzea who'd taken time out of her busy day to help me. I'm beneath him! What? No, I'm an equal. See, look, I'm an equal. There you go. Yeah, see, look, I'm not beneath anyone. I'm an equal. Equal. Equality. Well, what's done is done. But, I, but know that I will fight with every ons of my strength in this coming battle. And the next and the next. Mayhap that will serve to repay the favour. Fare you well. Silence, retainer! No! No, I've been demoted as the main character again. Cute cat sitting around the fire! Very cute. No, we're equal. Equality. Alamegan Brigade Officer. Wait, I know you. Corporal Mage of the Maelstrom. It's an honor to meet you. I was living hand to mouth in order, but decided en to enlist in the flames after I heard tales of your daring do. Oh, we inspired him. And now, as fate would have it, I've been sent here to join in the fight for my homeland's liberation. Ah, but this is no time to talk. I've got to prepare for the operation. Take care, Corporal. We'll leave those Imperial whore sons what for. Excuse me, that's an intense word in my... <laughs> Are we prepared to fight? Okay, no friendly fire. Excuse me, we've already talked about this. This is what happens when you put toddlers in charge. No, no friendly... Right, we're pointing you at the enemy. We've been through this already. Okay, I'm glad that you're ready for the war, but we're not doing friendly fire. We've been told who the enemy are. You lot can't be put in charge of anything. All right, you had one job. This is why we don't put toddlers in charge. Toddlers in tanks. We can't believe that the hero of Eorzea's retainer stopped to help him. What a good lad. No! I see what's happened. You've had a meeting. You've had another meeting about who the real hero of Eorzea is, isn't it? Unbelievable. Hello, Conrad. You had a word with the men I mentioned then. Yep. As I'm sure you've noticed, they've another thing in common aside from the tragedy. You've touched each other. You've touched each of their lives in one way or another, but that's not the reason I wanted you to speak with them. <laughs> a man who's lived in Kiribati in his entire life, who bore witness to the realities of for 20 unbroken years. <laughs> Behave yourselves. A man who fled Alamigo mm. in... No, I didn't... <laughs> a man who fled Alamigo in search of a new life, who swore to serve another nation, only for fate to conspire to send him back here. A youth born on foreign soil, who never knew his parents' homeland, yet nevertheless felt kinship with our cause. Three men, three stories, three reasons, yet all belong to the resistance. In growing larger, we've grown more diverse, and while there is good in that, there is also the potential for strife and discord. It'd take a special sort of, it'd take a special sort to lead such men to big Alamigo, don't you think? Good thing they've got you. 
Oh, someone like Lise? You mean? Leader of the Resistance, eh? Don't I have enough titles already? Okay, so... Do we be... Respectful and kind? Do we... Advocate for Lise? Or do we reinstate ourselves as the main character? Okay, Lise for main character, me for main character, or Conrad for main character. Uh, don't I have enough titles already? Fuel my ego! No, I think good thing they've got you. This is why I'm not the main character. For now, I, but not forever. And, to be frank... <gasps> frank! How is Frank? I don't always know what to say to the ones who left. Not to mention, mention the youth. <laughs> Comrade, you've been a boomer. I don't know how to speak to the youth these days. <laughs> Nay, the resistance needs a leader with a wider view. Someone who's not lived their whole life in Girabania, who's known death and hardship, but not been ground down by them. I, as you may have guessed, I've been thinking of asking Lise, our girl. Oh, she's been through so much. She had to rediscover herself as a person. She had to find her own way in the world. And she's had so much grief, so much trauma. She's been through so much. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. But it will be her decision in the end. I trust I needn't say that this conversation is just between you and me. Keep a secret, okay? This stays here. I'm trusting you lot, all right? It stays with us. No, don't even know. Stabbages, get your butt back here. We can keep a secret, right? <clears throat> They're already running. Put them on a toddler leash. Good girl. Right then, we'd best head to Castellum Corvi, or what remains of it rather. If I feed you lot, if I feed you lot a, a crystal, <coughs> Tristari, why are we stabbing the butt? Oh, hello Shayla, hello Cat Cat. If I feed you lot a crystal, will you keep a secret? If I bribe you with crystals, will that work? I speak with Conrad in Castellum Corvi. Where is Castellum Corvi? Oh, what? I have to actually walk there. Unbelievable. Wait, how do I get out of here? This way? Do I go that way? Okay. Depends on how many. Okay, what about... Right, there was a time... There was a time when you lot really enjoyed licking fire. What about... What about this? Although, actually, I probably shouldn't feed you fire. No, we shouldn't lick fire. No, you know what? No, 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 no. We shouldn't... No, I feel like we shouldn't do that, actually. We've just stopped you lot from licking fire. I feel like we should... Oh, okay. All right. No, we just stopped you from licking fire, actually. You haven't licked fire in ages. You've been really well behaved. I feel like we shouldn't feed you fire, actually. I don't think we should lick that. No, no, okay, maybe, this is why I can't be head of the daycare. This is why I can't be. Um, can I pass through here? We're friendly, right? Right, we're friendly, can, can I, can I come through? Okay, that was a close one. This is why I can't be in charge of the daycare. Because I just feed the chatting ones fire, apparently. That's bad. I don't think we should lick the tanks. I think that's definitely bad. Okay, Castellum Corvi. So is it the... <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at it looming in the distance. Hang on a minute. I thought it was the gigantic wall that we're going for. We haven't seen it in a long time. Look at it. Damn. No, look at Fopper. Look at Fopper. You're a cute Fopper. You're so tiny. You're so cute. Oh, ooh, there's a tree. Okay. Eyes on the road, please. Eyes on the road. Uh, how do I get there? I think we go like this way. I feel like this way is probably a good way. Oh no, I'm sprouting. I'm sprouting. 
<laughs> ha! Stupid mini cliff. Yeah. Idiot. Idiot mini cliff. I think this is probably a good way to go, right? Go like round. I don't know why I'm craning my neck. Like that's going to help me. Do you ever do that in game where you're changing your camera angle and you actually change like the angle of your head? Like if you want to look up, you actually do that rather than just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why am I like this? But maybe everyone's like this. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> ah, I'm not the only one. Yay. No. Oh, no. Ooh, there's some sparklies going on over there. Go, Sprout. Go. You got this. No. 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 What is this? Sprout proofing? Why are you saving me from myself? Bad game. Bad. Why can I not jump off here? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No, I can get I can do this. Okay? Non-believers, I can do this. Alright? I got this. <gasps> Ooh. Just an elephant in the desert. Okay, very normal day in the desert. Just an elephant. Ele no, wait! Why? Who put a hole in the floor? Well, how do I? Where do I? Who put a freaking hole in the floor? Why would you do that? How do I get out now? Who put that there? Okay. All right. I didn't realize this was Minecraft where you can just fall down random holes. That wasn't sprout proof. That wasn't sprout proof, was it? Sneaky, stupid hole. Okay, we got there, chatting ones. We got there. We got there. We did it. We did it. Oh, my goodness. You know what, guys? I got here straight away. Literally, don't worry about it. There was no incidents on the way. I'm very good at this game. Conrad. Oh, Conrad's very shiny. We'll lead the way while the other units launch their own separate attacks. Remember that we need to hold out until Monego sees to the flag. Got your gear in order. Yes, we've got our jabbies on. We're ready. Any moment now. Commence the battle for Raugar's bacon. Ooh. It's daytime. It's begun then. Good. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. That's very true. Same. Calm down, Nargo. You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We just need to make it the rest of the way. Right. Run, run, run. Okay. It's time. Looks like the busters went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. Now remember, Monaco, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. Voice acting. I won't let you down, sir. Come then. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day. For bacon! For the jammies! It's time! For me! Yes, bacon senpai! For bacon! It's time for jammies! I want to be a snake. When do the snake people get added into the game? I want to be a snack. I want to be a snack. Look at this. It looks awesome. I don't know how it would work with glam, but... Scouts dead ahead. If they see us, they'll warn the others. Not if we kill them first. I like you, Aaron Bald. Kill them all. Burn them. Ambush. Ambush. Die. 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 I'm in Here business. Here it comes. I love how Lisa's probably still just freaking pu punching everyone with her fist. Here it comes. 
Go on, Lise. Right. A war buff. I'm gonna... Oh, no. I need to press fire three. Okay, fire three. And then we press flare twice. <gasps> I'm AOEing. I'm doing it. I'm AOEing. Ah! I did it. No. I, I won't move. Because I will kill you before you get it off. Ha-ha! <laughs> no moves for you. Die, die, die. I did. I wasn't scared. We did it. That's the way. Let's move. That's the last of them. Let's keep moving. Easy. You think you can throw mechanics at me? Can't do mechanics when you're dead. Eh. No sign of sentries. General Order must have his hands full. Let's seize the bridge and be done with it. Die, die, die! Ooh, what's this? Brilliant conviction. Breaking limits as only a true warrior of light tip could. See? You see this buff? See? This is the main character buff. Yeah, talk about that in your meeting, about who the main character is. Yeah, bring that up in your meeting. Oh. Fire at will. Kill every savages. Excuse me. Who are you calling a savage? Savage. Esther died. I got a bit it right. Wait, what did Lise just say? That was powerful. Okay, fire three, and then doing an AOE flare. Oh, AOE. Oh. Ah, no mechanic. Bad mechanic. I think it's only hitting one mob, but it's worth it, right? Yeah, single target flare, let's go. Also, Spalander's still here. Spalander, I saw you chatting, but I was in the middle of a cutscene. How are you doing, lovely, if you're still here? Hello, Antoria, how are you as well? Die, die, die! Hello, packet loss. Wait, we should kill the artillery cannons, actually. That's probably what we should be killing. Oh, I should have. AoE, attack one enemy. There we go. Wait, that is genius one solo. Exactly. There we go. Scape. 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 Easy scape. And Antiora, oh sorry Antiora, sometimes I live my best uh, honorary dyslexic life and the, le the letters move around sometimes. Think you're clever with all your little tricks. Think again. None of you are leaving here alive. Shut up Fedora. We will not tip our Fedora. We'll tip you over the edge actually. You know what, fine, we're tipping the Fedora now. You may have survived the reach hero, but this time you won't be so lucky. No, the one who's not lucky is you. For my ley lines are off cooldown and you're in trouble now. I don't like you. This bridge belongs to the Empire. I'm not about to give it up. Yeah, give this up. Wait, what are these exits that she's... What are you doing? What are these exits? Die. Die, die, die. Oh, ow. Ow. You know what? I don't need to move out of your abilities because they do nothing. Oh, you think you can push me out? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, what do you mean I can't use it yet? What do you mean I can't use it yet? Oops, what are they? You don't scare me. I love using a rank one fire three. That probably doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. How's that? Didn't even feel it. Green fire. I stood in all your abilities and it did nothing. Oh, ow. No, not ow. Don't know. This is my bridge. You are not taking this from me. Mine now. Okay, you're doing your X's now. No. Hurrah. Oh, 
I think I got some leech. You can fill the edges with your stupid fire. But the only Meet fire. Meet my new friend. Meet my new friend. Oh, I don't like these X's. These hurt. I'm just going to stand over here. Okay, we're in scathed range now. We're getting into execute. We're getting into execute. We I'm can going scathe. Into no, no, no. We're going to scathe you to pieces. That's what we're going to do. Scathe. Yeah, go up in smoke. There you go, made it. We've only got to hold on a little longer. Ha ha! Die, die, die! For Krill! Butcher. Butcher this. God damn you! I admire your spirit, Fedola. Fedora. No more running, no more hiding. Let's finish this. Knock him out, mate. <laughs> what was that? Look, the flag. Oh, please tell me it's got jammies on it. Please be jammies, please be jammies. Jammies? Okay, if you squint, it could be jammies. It's a pretty, it's a pretty. Yes, Vinego! Oh my gosh, it's so epic! Get him! Ooh. Ooh. The bridge is ours! Alamigo! 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 Yes! Yeah! The big Alamigo! What are you doing? Retreating? Stand your ground! It's not over yet! Yeah, because you're not dead! Die, die, die! Damn it! Oh, what? Cheating! That's illegal! Illegal move! Ref! Let them go, Lise. We've done what we came here to do. That's enough for now she gets away this time. Get him. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, get your stabbies out now. We stabbing. Wait, this looks bad. Wait, 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 wait. This is bad. Why is there... No, wait, hang on. Yes, you're very cute with your stabby. Yes, very adorable. Very cute stabbers, aren't you? Yes. Very adorable. Yeah! Round bomb! The bridge is ours. Send the message. The jammies reign supreme. Peladina has fallen? Impossible! We have them on the run! Forward! No mercy! Oh my gosh, it's so good! It's so regroup. epic! Regroup! We have to regroup! All units, fall back! Yeah, where's your morale now? <laughs> Get him! What is it? Oh, okay. I'm so on edge all the time. Game gives me anxiety. Commander, the fourth cohort has been routed. We'll be at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements if we don't fall back now. Idiot! We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Xenos you lost to this rabble? No, no, Puz. I'd rather die. No. No, but if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. 
I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order, or we'll all die here. Damn, the voice acting again, like... As common traitors who drank of muddied waters. For all the good it did us. Yeah, you were a traitor to your people. School's with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. We did it. Oh, I suppose. It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. Nuh uh. We've had many victories, Lee. It's always the little things, many achievements. All in the power of jammies! The power of jammies compels you. Oh my gosh. Manego's just still standing up there. What a freaking Giga Chad. He's still like towering over everyone. <laughs> oh my god, that was so freaking epic. Wait, she's she's down now. What did you For a moment there, I didn't think I could do it, but then I did. Nobody ever doubted you, Manego, ever. It's a shame Fedora got away, but we did what we came here to do. I have to remind myself it's just the first step, but it's the big one. Oh, Lisa's voice, sorry. <clears throat> We're going to take it back, all of it, one ilm at a time if we have to. She's very preppy. Do we want healing or casting? Casting. ABC, always be casting. Wait, that checks out. Your work is far from finished, as Conrad knows. There's still a chance that some Imperials are holed up inside the Castellum. We'll need to search it top to bottom to make sure it's safe. In the meantime, I want you to rendezvous with the main host. Keep your weapons at the ready. There's a chance you might come face to face with soldiers on the run en route. Nodders, nodders. <laughs> Wait, who was that? Oh, <laughs> I was like, some NPC is popping off. <laughs> Thank you, Ethereal. <laughs> on second thought, it might be prudent for you to do a preemptive sweep of the region for soldiers that have gone to ground. We shouldn't afford them any time to regroup and launch a counter-attack. But when you've judged your work to be done, report to General Alden in the Bitter Mill. Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> Will I ever get rid of the jammies? Never. You see how much we've achieved in the name of the jammies? We liberated Doma. We've got the bridge. You see how much we've done with the power of jammies? We are never losing the jammies. Never. Oh my gosh, it's so epic. <laughs> Bye, cat. <laughs> cat is ascending. <laughs> okay, let's try and look out for holes. We fell down a hole last time. <laughs> yes, you're very good bridges. Yes, very good bridges. Okay, no killing wildlife, otherwise the chatting ones will get very upset. Okay. You sense a desperate presence. Imperial Hop... Hoplomachus. That's a long-winded name. Die, die, die! Damn, look at the damage. Yeah, get scathed. Who else? Bring more. La, la, la. We were woo. Together. They don't, they look a bit unusual. They don't look like they fit in here. What was that fate? What was that fate noise? Hang on a minute. What is this epic fate? It's a special fate. It's an omega fate. A super boss fate. 
Should we do this then? It, is this, should we do this one then? It's an achievement fake. Okay, should we do this then? While we're here? Okay, let's do it then. Die, die, die. I love this music. I love this music. Okay, while we're here, we might as well. Anybody who'd like to join, we're on Sagittarius. Uh, here. Da, 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 da. I need to do the face because um, I need to raise my company rank and I do need to farm seals. So I guess this is a good thing to do. Is it very loud though? No, it's fine, okay. It's very loud for me. I've turned my sound system. My system sounds really, really loud. This, that was such an epic fate noise. I was like, okay, okay. It's perfect for us. Okay, good. Sound check. Sometimes uh, I just need to make sure that the sound's good because I what I hear is not what you guys hear. Like my ears are getting blasted right now, so I've turned my system sound up a lot. <laughs> oh, oh, I hope that I get some seals for this. I really need to raise my company rank so I can get a house. I try and farm currency in my downtime because I don't know how interesting it is. Like sometimes I do really enjoy just sitting and chatting with you guys and doing some chores, sitting in Golden Saucer and you know, doing some kind of uh, like currency farm. And I, I do enjoy it, but like while I'm here, while we're going, we should farm these different currencies, I think. Oh, Chiggy. I swear to God, Chiggy is one of my favorite. Uh, thank you. I don't know anything really about how to acquire houses. So I, I know that it's quite tough to acquire houses, but I can't buy a house or even think about it until I raise my company rank. So raise the company rank first and then think about it later. Seals will grow on trees when you get to current content. Okay, I do want a house though. I don't think it was that hard to company to max, I can't remember. It's not hard, but you do need to grind it, right? So it's more like, if I can grind while I go, that would probably be the best outcome. You know what I mean? It took me eight years to get one. I had to get in non-lotto. Non-lotto. Okay, apparently housing is a little bit easier now. Is it a little bit easier now? Housing, because it used to be very difficult to get a house. I don't know how much of that is a uh, thing. Uh, you do talk to, you do talk and get a promotion, but you can only get a promotion when you have enough seals to turn in. So I don't have enough seals to get the next promotion. I think I need like 5k or something. I love this music so much. What, what main what main theme is this? This is like a main theme. Is it a main theme for like Shadowbringer? Uh, uh, sh uh, Stormblood? ARR, oh, ARR, okay, ARR, right. Wrong expansion, ARR, main combat theme, okay. Noted, noted. This is such an epic theme, I love it. It's so dramatic, it's perfect. I really enjoy this piece of music. I really enjoy it. <laughs> Torn from the heavens. It's the Warrior of Light theme. Okay, thank you so much, Cadwagon. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's called... Oh, thank you, Jazor, as well. Oh, my gosh! I did it! Wait, I got... I got... I got... I got a, a beyond the wall... Wait! It's my theme! I got the music scroll for it! Wait, this is the... I... Oh... Thank you so much, everybody who's here. I hope everyone got stuff. Uh, mock up green what? Oh, wind up Hien. Oh. Ooh, we've got a mole banner. 
Yay! Awesome. So, you know, the power of jammies. Wait, pajama jama. Where's pajama jama? That's a, that's a cute little Lalafell. Hello, Lalafell. Hello, chatty ones. Hello, gaming ones. Hello, hello. Look at all the gaming ones here. Look at all the gaming ones here. Oh, you're all amazing. We love the gaming ones. The power of jammies. Uh, and yeah, to answer your question of who said, are we ever dropping the jammies? I feel like jammies are canon now. I feel like we just can't drop the jammies. Jammies forever. Because I do genuinely just live in pajamas anyway. Like, I get up, have a shower, get and I get dressed into jammies. Like, I put, instead of putting on, like, clothes, I pull out a fresh pair of jammies from the drawer. I get dressed into jammies. <laughs> And I always wear like PJs and onesies and stuff on stream, so I feel like it's just on brand. They're comfy for sitting around the house in. You know? Oh. Uh, jammies are now okay's canon outfit, just like how I wear mine all the time. See, jammies are the best. Jammies get things done, right? Jammies are best with office attire. Yeah, it's like, you know, when you're working from home or like through lockdown and you wear like a top on top and then your bottoms are like jammies or something. It's comfy, it's comfy. I always stream in my jammies, so I feel like I should wear jammies in game. We just make loads of different outfits with jammies. Cause, cause the pajama sets are new, aren't they? The pajama sets are new. Is that correct in saying? Uh, are they jammies anymore if they're daily wear? Okay, what would they be called if they were daily wear? So instead of jammies, they'd be jammies. I was thinking like daytime jammies, but I don't like that. Jammies free company. Bad fate. No, this is a rubbish fate. Bad fate. They would be called comfortable. Walmart uniform. <laughs> okay, rub on. Please be voice acted. Please be voice acted. Please be voice acted. Oh no! Well met! All is well at the bridge! <laughs> good, good! <laughs> the fighting has died down here too, as you can see! Pippin left but a moment ago with a contingent of troops to occupy Valadina. And when the Imperials return, they'll find us dug in behind their own walls! I could not have hoped for a better outcome. General, splendidly done. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It will take more than one Castellum to turn the tide. My men and I will deal with the remaining enemy forces. Scones, I bid you return to Commander Kemp and his men. <laughs> Thank you, Ralvan. Thank you. Delight not over much in victory. Not when there are battles left to fight. Our work here is finished. Our resistant al resistance allies are waiting. Hmm, peaceful music. La, 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 la. It's like guitar. More strings. My back! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how or why Ralban sounds like this. I don't know how we got here, but we did get here. So you know, it's like you know when I did the rogue quests and I met Jack for the first time. I thought Jack was just like a side character that you saw like once. So I gave him a very very like what well, I tried to do an Irish accent. And when I say tried to do an Irish accent, apparently my Irish accent is a war crime or an act of war. Okay. But I didn't realise he was a main character, so I had to keep up this stupid Irish accent the whole time. I had to keep up this Irish accent because I didn't realise he was one of the main characters and I gave him the stupid Irish accent. Why did I do that? Back so soon, I suppose the general and his men had matters well in hand. The vice marshal and his men showed up not long after you left. If the gods are good, there'll be no one left to fight. La, 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 la. <laughs> I did think, yeah, it was that was Bajaeus. That's exactly basically how it sounded. And I, I, I have a lot of uh, Irish family as well, so 
cursed. I'm cursed. Your Raban impression can be a bit disarming, though. Hey, well played, well played, Wimpy. Well played, Wimpy. Okay, well played. <laughs> the granddad jokes. Got him. <laughs> not grand, not jad dad jokes. Granddad jokes. Conrad would like just as much as you. Conrad, Conrad would like just as much as you to resume your march east on towards the peaks. I know you're not one for waiting, but if you'll bear with us. Oh? Commander Kemp, Marshal Tarupin reports that their sweep of the Castellum's interior has been completed. So it's finally over, eh? Pray extend to him my deepest thanks. It's official then. Castellum Village. Nope. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. How was your stream? Sorry, I forget. I forget to change that sound. Sorry. Wake up. Wake up, chatty one. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. I forget. I, I actually forgot that that, that sound was, was really loud. Okay. Wake up. Wake up, chat. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> welcome on in, welcome, welcome. How is your stream? Uh, Castel and Veladino is well and truly ours. Mayhap this calls for. Wait, where is Manago? She took her bird and flew off towards the Peering Stones, the village of the M tribe, where she was born. I doubt that the Imperials who fled Veladina had a mind to give them trouble on their way back to East, but she was nevertheless worried, so I gave her leave to go and see what that her people were safe. Yeah, Manego is a Magoti. Though I pray you are right, it would be best if Manago were not alone if she should encounter the enemy. Agreed. Let's all go to the Peering Stones and make sure that everything's all right. If that is your wish, then I have no objection. Just let the guard know when you wish to cross. La 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 let me on. No. 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 Why is it toddler proof? Why are we toddler proofing the bridge? Why is this toddler proof? Excuse me. Pull that over here. No. Ex resist. Resist. Resist the urge. Resist. What's it called? You guys told me that it's actually a term when you get... For some reason, when I play FF14, I just get this really, really overwhelming urge to just jump off ledges. And apparently that's a real thing. It's called Call to the Void. Call of the Void. I have that. Does anyone else have that? I don't know what it is. I just see an edge and I have to jump. Wait, QQ, you're literally almost running as fast as I run on my mount. How are you doing this? It's, we all get it. It's a regular thing. Okay. I feel so seen. My people. We all, well, okay. It's a common occurrence, let's say then. Hello, Lise. I always get that urge. Okay, good. I have that also, but it is more sac get sacred of edges and feeling you can just jump off for me. Okay. La, la, little, but fast. Yeah, I know. Cute has the zoomies. Who gave cute cute sugar? Who was it? Who fed cute cute? What are you feeding? No more crystals. But of course, tiring though it may be to come and go from the clifftop, it is easily defended and affords an excellent view of the surrounding area. Yeah, but can you jump off of it though? That's the only important question. This area is home to dangerous beasts. Not that we cannot handle, mind. But do not be surprised if something ravenous and slavering comes charging at you out of nowhere. Bring more. 
The path to the village is through a tunnel just east of here. Follow me. When will I wear wigs? When will I wear wigs? What, in-game or IRL? I'd love to get wigs IRL. Because I've never dyed my hair, so I feel like I... I want wizard hair, but I'm not brave enough to, like, fully dye my, my hair. Don't know the reference. Wait, what? Oh, no. Am I lacking critical information? Alice, what do you have to say now? We may not have seen any Imperial forces thus far, but we mustn't forget this was occupied territory until very recently. They could still be nearby. Very true. Always keep your wits about you. Not just the Seekers of the Sun, but Ananata. Mayhap there is a settlement nearby. I don't know what you just said, Alfie, not gonna lie. What did you say? I don't know. Okay. Well, time to go inside. <gasps> Stupid game. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's a brand new crystal to lick. Look what's on screen. The chatty ones feast today. Another crystal to lick. Oh my goodness, the contract. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at the view. Okay, time to lick. Licking, licking, licking. Yes, the brand new crystal to lick. Yes. Licking, licking, licking. Yes, we're feasting. You know what I really love? These little pools. I really, really love this design of having these kind of like little rock pools. It's so beautiful. Oh! No! 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 Okay, good thing we licked the crystal. Okay. Don't mind me. The, 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 uh, um, how much? Okay, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Did nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay. I wasn't killed. Okay, nothing happened. All right. Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. Okay. Nothing happened. All right. I just, uh, Hello, Lise. I've just got here. Yeah, how are you? Well, what do you think? It's hard to tell from down below that a whole village is up here, isn't it? No, nothing happened. Nothing happened, cute, cute. Nothing happened. <laughs> ah, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. My home. Oh, your village is beautiful. How fair your people. Uh, but you do need to toddler proof your village. I'm just saying, okay? We need health and safety here, pronto. We need some dangerous signs. Good. All things considered, better than the Ananta at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. Woo. We need toddler proofing of the village, please. It's not, it's unsafe. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Did you fall off a cliff as well? It's not just Aye. me, right? It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kalyana. I love the snake people. Look at her fangs. The Kalyana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. You're so wiggly. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire and were content to remain within their borders. Just so. The Kalyana forsook their pride and the fight and yielded to Garlemald long ago. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kalyana surrender a hostage, this butcher. 
for Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana Broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. No! What? Save her! Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge, weeping for her child. Until you came. Oh no, this is horrible! I hate the Butcher. The Broodmother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Please don't be dead. Bad idea. Vordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The Butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. No, 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 no. I know where this is going. No, 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 no. 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 The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. Another reason to hate the butcher. What madness. It's horrible. The true madness was yet to come. For in her despair, the Kaliana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. Is that possible? She summoned a primal then and there? Oh! Uh, that's an issue. That she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. Well, I don't think primals can just be summoned for an instant. I think once they're summoned, they're summoned, right? The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kaliana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us. Uh oh, we have to fix it. I. All who have fought with the resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the icon slayer. Slayer. <gasps> In my jammies, me. That's me. I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a spanner in the works. Oh, what do we want here? Uh, 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 uh. Oh? Uh. Hmm. Oh, this is quite a predicament, chatting ones. Uh oh, we got another primal. Alvador just heard the story too many times before. 
<clears throat> At the risk of sounding hopelessly naive, they may, there may yet be a way to avoid a violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I have been rather too willing to accept that we have no other resource, recourse than to risk our lives, or rather, your life, to address these threats. Yet the primals we have faced thus far have demonstrated a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in battle, but Ramu would sooner keep to the forests with his children. So what could this primal want? Here we decide to challenge a Shri Lakshmi. It would seem unwise to learn more of her nature. It would seem wise to learn more of her nature from those who summoned her onto this world. If that is your will, then so be it. To the north, you will find our village. Sh Sarisha shall unfold all. Oh, try not to be like harsh on my S sounds. We shall leave at once. Manago, can you confirm our comrades at the bridge of what happened? Of course. Be safe, my friends. She is the best Magoti. We love our gal. Oh, you're still here. I will send word to Conrad and the others. Take care and do not hesitate to send for help if you need it. We always need you. We always need you. Okay. I'm answering the call to the void, but safely. Oh, look, a pathway. Aha. I'm safe now. Easy. Easy. I answered the call to the void. So flu. Now ask Minago about the hierarchy of her village. We could. Later. <gasps> oh. 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 It seems like we have found some minty air for the chatting ones to lick. Oh my goodness. Chatting ones. We have some minty air to lick. Oh, the dirty ones will be so happy. Okay, licking, licking, licking some fresh minty air. Oh yeah, licking, licking, licking. The dirty ones are feasting today. We've got crystals and minty air. What more can you want? Is it spicy? Why is it spicy? Why is the minty air spicy? Thou shall licketh. Uh, hi, uh, how are you enjoying? How are you doing? Enjoying some bad what's happened in the rescue of Miss Bear, but she's a bit behind. Oh, hello, Battle Fries. Uh, okay, quite a lot's happened. I feel like the chatting ones are probably better to fill you in, but uh, we liberated Doma. Um, what else have we done? Yeah, I feel like liberating Doma probably is most accurate. We just fed the chatting ones some minty air. Venna, excuse me, behave yourself. Um, but you, we, we watched no clip the other day, but I will upload that one to YouTube so you don't have to like try and find that one. Yeah, bro sets. Oh, bro sets. Despair. Oh, bro sets. Bro sets. Sadu, yeah, we met. Oh, yeah, to be fair, I actually really loved. Oh, we wee wa wooed. We wee wa wooed. Okay, Sarasha. We do not often receive guests. What is the purpose of your visit? Greetings and well met. We are the Vil we are the scones of the Vilf Dwarf, and we come seeking Sarasha of the Vera. You are she? Are you not? You have petitioned us for aid and succour, and we intend to provide them. But we would first learn more about Sri Lakshmi, that we might better understand the nature of the threat she poses to you. A simple request, and one which I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi. We were created. Who gave you that? Who who gave that? Who who released? Excuse me. Where did that come from? <laughs> who unleashed that? Who who allowed that redeem again? Who gave you that? Uh, wake up, chatty quads. Wake up. Wakey, wakey, chat. <laughs> Wait, why have we got sound effects back? Okay. Unleashed. We've got sound effects back. <laughs> the dicks is supposed to be a jump scare redeem, so wake up. I heard that from the other room. Sorry, Spilalada. I didn't know. <sighs> uh, 
Toy cup chat. Ah, uh, mud check. Okay, I think we need to cover the mods and dribble. We were created in her image. Daughters blessed with her beauty. Her breath became ours. Was it minty? Was it minty breath? Her serenity, our solace. There is naught she would not give. Hmm. Twas the Qualiana broodmother's desire to bring about her daughter's resurrection, which first qu called forth Sri Lakshmi from the ether. That being the case, I rather doubt the goddess will be spoiling for a fight. That would depend. The primal's motives will have been coloured by the summoner's state of mind, namely that of a grieving mother who had just borne witness to her daughter's murder. Though she apparently craved a miracle, she may also have harboured thoughts of vengeance. Moreover, the Kalyana's conception of Sri Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vera. That this is true. The Vera and the Qu Kualana do indeed regard the Lady of Bliss in different ways. To the Vera, Sri Lakshmi embodies freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will. And so we stand with the resistance against the Empire and give our lives for the cause. To the Kalyana, however, she embodies transcendental beauty, which they strive to create through their craft. To shape crystals is less art and more ritual, a sacred duty wherein each tribute is imbued with the fragment of the soul. The Imperials do not interfere with this holy work, and so the Kalyana were content to turn inward to ignore our plight. Until reality asserted itself, and they summoned a primal, a feather dream to soothe their aching hearts. But surely they can see that it won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands. Nothing will change. The Anananta will. The Kalyana bade the Vera make pilgrimage to pay proper respects, remember? Those who do not wish to partake of their primal's bliss will be made to do so. Not while we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin to the Kalyana. Will you help them to see reason? You can count on us. Know that I'll kill your god if I have to. Maybe if I don't. Oh, damn! Oh, Sasuke! is radiating the sass lately look at these voice lines okay do we go for the nice option or the giga chad option the freaking giga jammies i know right she is radiating main character energy but i'm not the main character so i know my place <laughs> it's freaking giga chad option it, i don't feel confident enough to say that though i'm just gonna i'm gonna be boring i'm gonna pick the boring option you can count on us Then we shall, for without you, we may be powerless to stop them. If we do not act quickly, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. Then it's settled. We're going to find that primal and put an end to this. My sister Vajra. Vajra will guide you to Janan Kwat and I shall pray for your success. Who's what? We're going to who's what, where, what? Hello, Vadra. Well, met scones, I am Vadra. She who shines bright and unbroken. Ooh, ooh la la, ooh, 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 ooh. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. Okay. Uh, <gasps> la 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 la. Hold on, pause. Why is the music not having my back? This is really awkward. Why is there no music? I'm chatting. I am. I am chatting. No, I'm a. Uh, I'm going to see a show with dad today. Me and dad are going to go see a show. So I just wanted to check what time we're leaving. We're going to see a show. I'm really excited. 
and I went, yeah, we're gonna go spend some quality time. I'm gonna go see a show. Okay, Vajra. Vajra is ready to guide you to Dajan Quat. I don't know if we wanna see that. You are ready? Hmm, you look ready. Dajan's Quat. There you will find the Quiliana's crystals. Oh, correct it, crystals. And Sri Lakshami. Follow me. Yeah, uh, you guys can come with me. I'll bring the chatting ones if you promise to behave. Oh. Brrr. If you promise to behave, I can bring you as well. I don't know if you can behave. I don't know if that's possible, to be honest. Uh, uh, do we have to go through here? Or how do we get to who's what sits? This way? No, not that way. This way. I think we have to go like round there. Okay, we got this. I promised to behave poorly. Well, to be fair, I didn't add the extra description, did I? I didn't. I didn't actually specify. He can count on me. You lot are all sus. Like this. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I freaking love that. The bite is jiggling. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Gigantic birds. It is the best dance, I agree. I liked the... the I can't do it because it's got the wrong camera angle, but I try. It's so good. Yes, burbs. Yes, very good burbs. Yes, you're all very good burbs. Yes, good job, chat. Good job, chatting ones. Very good burbs, aren't you? Hello, Vajra. Jan's Quat. The path leads to an entrance above. Within is an <gasps> aetherite. You must use it to enter. Understood. With me, everyone. Okay, we're going for someone's... Going for Dijan's quat. <laughs> Don't concern me! <laughs> oh my god, concern always makes me giggle. Wait, there's an elephant in the desert! Elephant in the desert! Elephant in the desert? Elephant in the desert? Wait, why are they hostile? Stop being hostile. Eh. Eh. Ooh. Onwards. <gasps> oh my goodness. What? Oh my good. Look at this crystal. Dig dog. Dig dog. What are we dig? Eh? What? Eh? What? Did I miss some minty air? Swelva, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for the four months. I think you're all lying to me. <gasps> you're not lying. Oh my goodness, chatting ones. I almost missed feeding you some minty air. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're feasting today. We got some minty air to lick. Licking, licking, licking. Yes, some nice fresh minty air. Licking, licking, licking. Yes! Yay! Wait, we got so many things to lick. We got minty air. We also got gigantic blue crystal. Look, it's a blueberry flavored crystal. Oh, what do we think it'll taste like? Okay, let's lick it. Ooh. Okay, licking, licking, licking. What does this one taste like? It's so fancy. Wait. Licking? Tastes like blue fire. Uh, we got all those bits earlier, so I think we've been okay. That's very true, Spalanda. Oh? Are they ears? Are they ears? <laughs> He's like wiggly ears. <laughs> Why, mistress? Why does my Anamika slumber still? Oh, this is so sad. It's her daughter. She is Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Oh my, she is radiant, isn't she? Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. Breath stolen? 
Uh, oh, who stole the breath? I don't know. I don't know anyone that licks breath or air. Um, quick, run. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. She, she's silent. Oh, grieving mother. Alerted. Only the vessel may be remade. Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul has been scattered to the four winds. Oh, she has to kind of... Oh, she has to have the loss of her daughter twice. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Oh, Alice. Uh, it's a sensitive subject, Alice. Alice, have you gone mad? But, 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 yeah. Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Go on, Alice. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials thirsting for blood. How dare you! No, we come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. Oh, that line is haunting, isn't it? You loved her with all of your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. Ooh, what a line. Ooh, ooh. Damn. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. God, and her voice actress, actor delivers these lines. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This hath ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. Fine delivery. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. Alice has a lot of moments. Damn. Damn. Who was that? <gasps> Lise? For every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? Yes, I am aware of this. I also, I also have the same problem. Okay, never sated. I know how that feels. I'm watching you. Yes, we do understand this very well, actually. Yes. They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. Chatting ones seem to be a primal. Hang on a minute. I think the chatting ones are a primal. She's wrong. We hate the Empire as much as you. If you just listen. Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. I can't stop looking at those things it's like their ears. I'm sorry to ruin that. Wait, is she gonna temper everyone? 
Wait. Are we... No, wait. Hang on. They don't have the echo. Or... Wait. Alfie, you just put her in the fire. What? We did something. I didn't know we could do that. Wait, we have an ability to Abide stop. Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Hang on a minute. We have that ability to like put a protective shield around others without the echo so that they don't get tempered. That is a significant ability. Hang on a minute. We did something. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. No. Save them. We can't save them. They're always going to be tempered. That is a really powerful ability if we're able to protect others from getting tempered. Not only are we immune, but that is significant. What we just did was very sig- They've gone. Excuse me, you, you had one job. Where have they gone? Ugh, there really is no way we can fight alongside you without being turned in- Is there really no way we can fight alongside you without being turned into one of her dreamers? I don't think so. I think we've got a new ability. I feel like we just leveled up and learnt a new move. I knew things were not going to end well the moment she stepped out of hiding. Alfie, she just had one of her most powerful moments yet. Alice, my queen. I know, I know. It was stupid and foolish, but I had to try. I had to. It was the most powerful thing I've ever seen. I had to try and I failed. So you have to fight. There is no other way. No, we would have been fighting anyway, Alice, but you tried. That's the most important thing. I'll wake them from the dream. Never stop trying. Primals cannot be suffered to live, you know. This. Never stop trying. Never stop trying. Ever. It means a lot to hear you say that. It does. But it doesn't make any of it easier to have... It doesn't make it easier to have to ask you to face that... That thing. Alice, say, we would have had to have faced it anyway. We would have had to have done that anyway. But at least you tried. We can do... We can but do that which is within our power. Lise, Alfie, and I will go seize their crystal stores. You're not allowed to come because you'll eat the crystals, okay? You see how you're not mentioned? Chatty ones cannot be trusted. This will not happen again. And you, when it's finished, we will be waiting for you. <laughs> no, you're not allowed because you would eat it. You would eat all of the crystals, okay? You can't be trusted. You have yourselves to blame. All right, this is why you're not allowed to go with uh, Alfie and Lise because you'd eat the crystals. <laughs> oh, but you're so cute. Well, you've already eaten them. Oh, the liquor Angie, the liquor man is so adorable. Uh, confront Sri Lakshmi in emanentation. Emanent Wait, is this a duty? <gasps> oh my goodness, how many? Eight? Okay, if you would like to come along, Please send me a whisper in game. Sometimes I like to spin to win, but I'm in an instance. I don't think anyone can get in here. So send me a message in game, just one message, and I'll random roll it out to get our group members. So send me, send me a message in game, we'll, we'll go. Let the, let the messages come on in and then we'll random roll it out. Dirk, thank you so much for the 22 months. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Dirks. Classic Dirks. If I compare this okay made stream to a cheese, I'd say it's knob cheese. It's gross, smelly, leaves a bad taste, but some weird fuck finds it kinky. Dirks, what are you saying? <laughs> Dirks. <laughs> huh? Um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, at least there's the word cheese in there. That, that, that'll do. That'll do. Send me an in-game whisper if you want to be in the upcoming trial and I'll roll it out. Uh, Bish, thank you so much for the gifted sub, sub as well. Right, anyway. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna random roll it out. So how many do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so random 15. I rolled a five, which is one, two, three, four, five. Church song, welcome, welcome. Random 15. 14, which is Ramu. Welcome, Ramu. Random 15. A 10, which is 15, 15 12, 10. Sunday or Snaday? Sue? Oh my goodness, we're getting, we're sniping some. I don't think a couple of you have been with us before. I rolled a six, which is one after church song, who is Noda. Oh my goodness, we've got the chief mischief maker, Noda. We managed to snipe Noda. Random 15. Oh, I rolled 14 again. Random 15. Eight. Mizu! Yes, Mizu! We managed to snipe Mizu as well. I'm so happy. Random 15. Okay, 10. Oh, we already did. We already got 10. Random 15. Uh, oh, 14 again. Sorry, I like to make this as fair as possible, chatting ones. I like to give everyone the same opportunity to come along. It means a lot to me. Uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then Nora. Nora got sniped. Welcome, Nora. There's a lot of Lalafells in this party. This is the Lalafell party. Uh, this is the most fairest that I can do. Roll it out, give everyone the equal chance. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. Laura, invite to party. Okay, I think that's everybody. Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Okay, so we might need to, I can't see anyone's rolls, but if, I think we need two tanks to healers, right? So, oh my God, look at this sprout. Look at this sprout. Let me just sprout play, explain to you guys. I don't know if you lot are aware, but you need two tanks and two healers. Yeah, let me just sprout explain to everyone. That's what a group composition is made up of. <laughs> I'm just chatting. Yeah, let me just uh, so let me just sprout explain to everybody. Uh, BGM 100. Okay, usually I always play with BGM 100, but I think recently. Oh, unluck. Okay, BGM to 200 then. Okay, we're all ready. Let's go. I'm so excited. M nan na M nan na nation nan nan. We're going for our nan. How exciting. Okay, let's go. She is so radiant. It's very loud. Is it very loud? It's very loud for me. <laughs> I think Noda's tempered. Hang on a minute. Noda! Noda! Stop being tempered! Noda! <laughs> nice portrait, chatting one. Open your heart to me. Never! We can resist, right? Okay. Apparently no. Wait, there's bulls. What do the bulls do? Scape? Who are you to wake them to the dream? Sliver of grace, I bequeath you. Wow, this is awesome. Look at the freaking arena. Look how beautiful the floor is. I feel like that's a really stupid thing to say, but it is pretty. Hand of beauty. What does that do? This is awesome. Wait, 
wait, what's happening? Rest your weary souls in my bosom. Um, uh, I'm sure nobody wants that, right? No, nobody wants that. No, no, no. Oh my God, she's gigantic. No, Temptress. Oh, no. She's not. Um. Wait. Wait. We don't want that. We don't want that. I shall free you from your What did hate. I do? I was the only person that said, no, I don't want that, and I died. I was the only one. I was the only one to resist, and I'm dead. That's what happened. There's no place for you within our... Oh, God. What do I have to do? Uh, I'll press the defensive. Woo! Um, what did I do? Oh, no! Sorry! I, I refuse to be tempered. That's what it is. I am immune to your magic. to bliss. Oh no! Oh no! Thank you, Mizzou! Thank you, Mizzou! <laughs> Thank you for saving me! <gasps> if this was wow, I would be dead. Do not your souls weigh heavy? Okay. Wait, I haven't got a target. Oh. Oh my god, look how pretty the ability is! Look how pretty that is! Oh, uh... Uh, oh, I'm... Okay, sorry, I'm nuking everyone. Oops. Sorry. Do I press, like, a defensive? Do I... Okay. Okay, now there's balls? Okay, I got my ley lines down. Divine denial. What is divine denial? Your soul. Oh are no, stunned. again! Oh no! Okay, I'm not doing something. I'm missing critical information again. Uh, thank you. Oh no, I'm inting. Oh no! She's so pretty, though. But she's so pretty. Man, this is such a cool primal fight! What? This is so fun! I know that I'm inting, I know that I've died a couple of times, but this is such a cool your fight! Hate. This is so cool. Gosh, that fight was so pretty. That is the prettiest fight we've had yet. Well played, well played, well played, chatting ones. Well played, gaming ones. I got carried. <laughs> I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Good job, everybody! Good job, the power of jammies compels you. That was a beautiful fight. That was such a beautiful fight. That was awesome. Noda, get your butt back here. Noda, resist the call to the void. Noda! No Noda! 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 Resist! <laughs> Noda! Noda was tempered! Right, Noda, you can get in the picture. You can do this. I believe in you, Noda. You can do this. Okay, quick, take the picture. <laughs> quick. <laughs> 
Wait, what is this? Brill? Why is that in the way? Hang on. Wait, what is this? Use the etheric residue linger in your body to temporarily disguise yourself as one of the Lakshmi's loyal dreamers. Oh, Brill ignites. Eh? Well, whatever you are, you're getting in the way of the photo. You're covering up the Lala Fell. Okay. Oh, we're all tempered, apparently. Yay! Okay, let's scroll out a bit, because whatever you... For real, you're getting in the way. You're getting in the way of the group photo. Thank you so much. That was freaking awesome. What? Oh. Uh, I think I pressed... Oh, God. I was like, uh. Thank you so much, gaming ones. Wait, I'm in a bubble. Wait, I'm in a bubble. Look at this. Oh! <gasps> Okay, thank you so much, Gaming Wubble! Gaming Ones! Your Vril dis dissipates. Okay. I'm in a bubble! Thank you so much, Gaming Ones! That was so cool! That was the prettiest fight yet! Oh my goodness! She was very pretty. She was. That was a really cool primal fight. Okay. Thank you so much, Gaming Mods. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. No duck. No duck. Stop peeing. No duck. Stop peeing. Stop it. No duck. Control itself. No peeing. You did it again. You saved them. I just wish I could have been more help. Please stop. Stop doubting yourself. Have more confidence. You've done so much. Your spirit burns bright. So, it looks like the Ananta did have a mountain of crystals after all. Like every other tribe. Gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. We have to own our weaknesses. You! You slew our mistress! She was our hope! Our salvation! Is there no end to your cruelty? Oh my goodness, that line delivery! There was so much emotion and power in that! Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel, don't you see? If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Oh, I'm so proud of our lease. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. Who are you to question our choice? You who fight without fear? We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! <sighs> really, really embodies those lines. I know there's nothing I can say to convince you. But I hope that one day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words and leave me to mourn. I'll go. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Lisa, I'm so proud of you. Girabania is our home too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on, Alphino and Alize are waiting. Lise, I'm so proud of you. Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Big Alamigo.
the butcher. Oh no, no, not Zeno. No, 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 no. They're not ah, going. The savage returns, and with her tail firmly between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. Oh. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have carried the Viceroy's favour with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. Ooh. What's she gonna do? Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. That's what you're doing, Imperial Tribunus Militum. <laughs> I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly, but no. Oh. If only she had been content with her lot, she might have lived to see the morrow. Classic. Oh, the woman's only there because she slept her way there. Excuse me, murder them. They're not worth it. Classic. Oh, he scares me. I don't like him. He's scary. Fadola Rem Lupis, commander of the Crania Lupi, reporting as ordered. Oh, I don't like it. Why do you tremble so? That was really creepy. Did you guys see the lights dim then? Did the lights, did that? As he spoke? That was scary. Could it be that the Empire's butcher is afraid? That she who walks with death is terrified of her own? I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield, had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed. You are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. His voice actor is so freaking good. All of the voice actors are good. That is just a stupid comment because they're all freaking good, but his voice actor, like the line delivery is just. Yes, my lord. It's just ramped up so much in Stormblood. That's why I keep pointing it out, you know, like it's ramped up. It's so noticeable in Stormblood. You were defeated by the resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an icon. Have you anything to say? Oh my God, the music is so scary. I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes or I will pluck them from your head. I want to make them pay! All of them! 
everyone who ever mocked or looked down on me. I want the power to make them pay! Gotta give it to Fordola. Jeez. Very well. Then I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Assuming, that is, you are prepared to wager your life for such power. Transcend, my lord. She's willing to do anything. All the music? I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do. It's Mokor! Who is that? It's the evil scientist! Okay, who who was that? I'm guessing, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Some evil scientist, some evil scary scientist is actually Molkor. Cannon, Cannon! This organ distribution service is getting out of hand. I wish we could have left on better terms, but that was never gonna happen. It could be a problem if they get their heads on any more crystals though. Never mind. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Uh, we slay. We slay. Yeah, stop distributing the fingy sandwiches, all right? No more fingies. Oh, Misha, thank you so much. Oh, the music, thank you. Tantus, Tantus, Tantus V, thank you so, so much for the m three months. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I do feel like I sound like a broken record, but the thing that I've noticed the most about Stormblood is how freaking much the cutscenes have ramped up and how much the voice acting, it's just, it, it always was good, right? But it's, it, it, it's just, just, mind-blowing and each line delivery each character is so freaking powerful it's so immersive and, and i feel like i'm constantly commenting on it but it's just something that is so noticeable with stormblood it is so powerful and and it's just i want to listen to it again i want to watch it again uh, thank you so much for the resub for months. Stormblood enjoys represent. Thank you, Star Striker. I really appreciate that. Tosberg, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Drummer as well. Thank you. You guys are so kind. Thank you. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think it was amazing. Hemold also, just a different type of story. Okay, you can appreciate something. Okay, one thing that I'm very much about is that you can appreciate something without it taking away from anything else. So I can appreciate how intense the storm blood cutscenes are and how intense the voice acting is and that doesn't take away from anything else yeah okay good no no shadow no sorry no 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 sorry i just said that everyone knows because i also feel bad of like yeah heaven's water is also really good but every time i appreciate something it doesn't take it away from anything else that's all i mean just no it's the shadow that wasn't sorry sometimes i read something and then it it it, it kind of sparks my own thought of something that I wanted to say. You know what I mean? It sparks like, oh, I think it's important for me to say that. I know what you meant, Shadow. I know what you meant. I agree. I agree. But um, but yeah, no, I, I, I just, I just, all of these cutscenes, I'm just like, damn, the line delivery, the the voice acting. It's like I'm not trying to break immersion, immersion, but at the same time, I am so floored by the the quality, the. The talent, the talent, you know what I mean? Chat looking extra cute today. Hello Zoe, thank you so much for the four months. I love waffles, you hate pancakes, agreed. Agreed. Thank you so much Zoe, they are very cute today. I changed my plate, I changed my plate a bit That. Hello cute chatting ones. It was, it used to be hello cute chat, but I, could, right, I changed it to chatting ones. And I changed, I changed my plate around a bit. 
Uh, but I, I changed my plate around a bit. Look, I added like the kind of arcane things here and a bow, but I, I kept, this was the first picture that I ever took. And I kind of kept it because it's kind of like, I really like this picture. I feel like it's quite good. Um, hello, cute chatting one. Hello. Uh, I agree. Uh, yeah, so sorry. When I'm appreciating the cutscenes in Stormblood, it doesn't take anything away from Heaven's Ward or A Realm Reborn. I'm just appreciating the Stormblood cutscenes. And I do feel like they're more intense, but that doesn't mean that, that the others are not very good. It doesn't mean that the others are not as intense. I'm just saying Stormblood is, is very intense in immersion and, and just surreal. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just trying to play for that isn't full of lice hate. Wait, why would anyone hate lice? She's going through so much. I love lice. She's my spirit animal. She's my favorite. She always has been. My plate over your plate, just saying. Yeah, no, but who's dead right now? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Get wrecked, idiot! Get wrecked, idiot! <laughs> Got him! Got him! Uh. Yes, well played, Noda. Clappers, Noda. Well played. Okay, then. Uh, it'd be a boy now the lies to stupid and naive isn't hating her. It's describing her character. No, it's expressing your opinion of a character. Come on, Ms. Cuff. You should know the difference. You're expressing your opinion of the character. That's your opinion. Doesn't make it a fact. Because I don't, I don't think that. And it's fine for everybody to have a different opinion. I don't have a very negative opinion of lice. I appreciate lice. I like lice. But we're all entitled to our own opinion, right? That's your opinion, though. You know the difference, right? <clears throat> some people some people like some characters. Some people don't. We're all entitled to our opinion. As long as everyone's being respectful, you know? As long as everyone's being respectful and nice. It's okay to dislike a character. And it's okay to like a character. And the, the, the important thing is that the writing is that deep and that good that everybody is able to resonate with the characters differently and that is a testament to the writing okay that we all have different opinions and we all relate to the characters differently i think that's the important thing the fact that we all have different opinions is a testament to the quality of the writing uh i personally enjoyed heaven's ward over storm blood however shadowbringers just wait i mean you're entitled to your opinion as well you know if you enjoyed heaven's ward more that's fine as well we're all entitled to our opinion as long as we're being respectful in our different opinions and as long as we know the difference between opinions and trying to state it as a fact you know because i'm sure we're all able to understand that uh most people are i would argue most people don't like Lise. oh really but a lot of people also like her yeah Fun fact. Okay, all right. Some people don't like her, some people do. Some people don't, some people do. That's like all characters though. Everyone's gonna like or dislike certain characters. I really agree with you. Some people are just too loud in voicing their own. Yeah, everyone's opinions are valid when it comes to liking and disliking characters or content. I agree, yeah. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. That's, uh, what do you think of this opinion? Chat shouldn't lick rocks. Oh no, Lilith starting a war now. Lilith, can't believe you've done this. We're getting, we're starting a war now. Oh no. What's this? Having different opinions on the interwebs? Off to Twitter. <laughs> I like Tataru, but Valley Girl Tataru, that thing scares me. <laughs> Noda. I like Redacted, but some people don't. I just vibe. I think it's good. I think it's good to have different opinions. You know, some people like some characters, some people don't. That's fine. Again, as long as we're being respectful, uh, it's fine to like or dislike something. The problem is people pushing their opinions or wanting everyone to share them before they can form their own opinion. Well, I suppose it's kind of the issue I have is the people that can't tell the difference between a, an opinion and just being toxic, you know? But we've spoken about that to Jeff, don't talk about that again. Between Lise and Zeno, I don't know who the community is more divided on with their opinions. Okay, does Zeno have a lot of differing opinion as well? Because the thing is, is it's good. It's good to have different opinions. It's good. That's a good thing. Zeno for me, 
Xeno for me absolutely terrifies me. I have never felt such genuine terror of a character. This is a first time experience for me, experiencing such terror. He is terrifying and I'm too scared of him to form any kind of like or hate. I'm just scared of him. Uh, do you mean Zeno or Zeno? Wait, uh, oh no, I see what I've done. Um, the in-game character, <laughs> the in-game character, Zeno, the, the Zeno, Zeno, the, the character in-game. Uh, my biggest concern when you come into Storm Blood was trying to force, was being trying to force your own opinion of Lee down your throat before you have the chance to develop your own. Oh, I didn't see anyone's opinion. Oh, Mulk, to be fair, I didn't see anyone's opinion of Lise. I feel like sometimes people are memeing like, oh, do Lise, but I never took that as like people hate her and it never affected my opinion. Because like what other people say is never going to change. You know, I'm open to hearing what other people think, but it's never going to change my opinion. Uh, I'm open minded. I'm understanding, but I like Lise and nothing anyone can say can make me dislike Lise. I can appreciate some people don't like her. That's fine. Uh, too many people were sharing opinions of Intel with people who are genuinely enjoying someone else's viewpoint. Uh, personally, believe Harch fart and the reactions toward are blown way out of proportion. I personally believe Harch fart and the reactions toward are blown way out of proportion. What, by the community? I love Lord Harch fart. I mourn Lord Harch fart. He's the, he's, he's the first character. So, Zeno, Zeno, is it Zeno, 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 whichever one, the in game scary character is the first character that's genuinely terrified me and Harchfart, Harchfart is the first character that I've genuinely mourned. I've mourned Lord Harchfart. He was my best friend and I, and I mourn him and that's the first character that's made me feel that way. Just pronounce the S. Okay, Zeno's. Zeno's. There you go. I mean, I'm always, I'm always talking about the in-game character, so I feel like you guys can engage, engage the brain as well. Z knows. There you go. I don't think I emphasised the, the S. I feel like I was emphasising the S, but maybe not a far, not enough. A lot of people think Xenos is Xenos is too. One note, found it refreshing not to have him complex with some of the vision. I feel like he is complex though. Complexly terrifying. Complexly ter terrifying, but yeah, that's fine. We all resonate with the characters differently, don't we? An another pronunciation is husband. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, it's nice. I'm glad everyone's expressing their own opinions. I'm not reading too much because, you know, my opinions of the characters is formulated on my experience and not anyone else's. I, I am open-minded. I like hearing other people's stuff, um, but I also, it doesn't influence me. Oh my goodness. Wait, did you raid again? Thank you so much for the raid. Um, but yeah, you guys are happy. You know, it's fine for you guys to express your opinions. I'm not reading too much into it because uh, I have my own opinions formulated by my own experience with the game. So I still find it interesting. Like, you know, if somebody doesn't like Alphanord, I loved Alphanord in ARR because I loved his sassiness. If you don't appreciate sass as a trait and you don't like sassiness, then you're not going to like ARR Alfie, for example. And, you know, there's various different traits and things that people do or don't appreciate. We all resonate with the characters differently. I keep saying that, but... Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's fine. It's fine to like different characters. It's fine to like different characters. It's fine to dislike different characters. As long as we're all respectful, you know, you can say, I don't personally like Alfie, but I respect you do. Or I like Alfie, but I respect that you don't. As long as we're respectful and differing opinions. But anyway, thank you for sharing, you know, lightly. Everybody's got context. I can only formulate opinions based on what I've seen so far. But I think most of you who have finished or have got way past this point, you have more uh, time with the characters and more context. So, you know, I can only go by what I've seen so far. I feel like uh, Lise has gone through a lot. I can really understand Lise. 
But maybe some people don't want to give her that understanding and they just uh, like make judgments on her and don't try and understand her. That could also be a thing. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, you're all hilarious. You're all hilarious. I really appreciate the character development that Lisa went through in Storm Blood. I do as well. I really do. I really do. I do as well. Right, I'm going to see a show with my dad tonight. So I feel like here is a really good place to pause. I think here's a really good place to pause. I've had such an amazing day. I'm sorry to call the stream a little bit shorter. I do apologize, but I am going out with I'm going out to see a show, so I'm really excited. Um yeah, I get to spend some quality time. Uh, and I'm going with my aunt and uncle as well. So like, I'm really, really excited in general to spend some time with the family. Uh, so thank you guys so much for today. Now, I just want to clarify this raid right now. We're going on this raid. This is a very meaningful raid to me. We are raiding Talies and Evertel and they are massive content creators in the World of Warcraft community. This raid that I'm doing now is a pay it forward raid. When I was a very, very small streamer, Taliesin and Evertel raided me with hundreds of people, thousands of people. And, and I just want to pay it forward. I, I'm nowhere near as big as they are, nowhere near. But I, I want to do a pay it forward raid because they raided me and it meant a lot. So I really hope that we can pay it forward a bit. They Honestly, they're my heroes. I look up to them a lot and they are some of my favorite content creators and I'm really nervous to raid them. I get really nervous to raid like celebrities, but um, this is a pay it forward raid and I'm, I'm scared, I'm nervous, but it's fine. So yes. Uh, and they also play Final Fantasy. They are wild well creators. But anyway, right, bye chatty ones. I'll see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow.